Oh, it's time. It's time for my my main man, Ryo Hazuki. Oh crap, I'm getting raided by Funhouse. What's up, boys? Oh god. You guys you guys have moved from one from one horrific pile to the next. Welcome everyone. Played a good time hanging out with John and Jacob. They are good boys. Love those guys. They've come to take you back, yeah. <laughs> That's close enough, right? Welcome everyone. It was timed pretty well. Just getting started uh, on... So I made it to the second town in Shenmue 3. Um, so, hold on a sec. Let me give you guys a, a, let me give you guys a little tour here. I got... Uh, Rio's got his little, like, lounge attire. This game has different outfits, which is pretty important. Uh, you can see over here, we have five Americans on the wall. Terry, Robert, Mark, Dick, and Jones. They are all the dock workers from uh, Shenmue 1, for some reason? I don't know why that's there. Um, uh, half half a kitten, what's Shenmue? Good God. Your name is a, your name is amazing, but uh, what is Shen- God, what is Shenmue? As, as neatly as I can summarize it, it is trying to be a real-life simulator in which you are constantly tr you're trying to avenge your father. But it ends up being more of a really disjointed, awkward um, kind of adventure game. If that makes sense. So you do a lot of uh, you do a lot of looking around. You do a lot of poking through things. The goal of the original game was to to like try to recreate real life in as thorough detail as possible, which basically ended up meaning they spent a lot of time on things that don't matter. Um, get their info on Centery Road. So I have this di I have this journal that keeps track of where I'm at in my investigation to find Lan Di, the villainous Lan Di, and avenge my father. Uh, Red Snakes. Oh yeah, so there's a gang called the Red Snakes that might be related to the gang that Lan Di has been affiliated with? Here's the most important thing about Shenmue though. You can open the drawers and look inside those drawers. Look. Look. Behold. A hairdryer, a comb, and another... a brush. Exciting. And that's it! Shenmue 3 in a nutshell for you. Um, oh, there's some free apples, by the way. Yes, warranty, you are still avenging your father. It's good. It does look good, Ryo. Let's take it. Um, Sega's still on Shenmue, yeah. Uh, in, in Shenmue 1, you're basically investigating in Japan. The, uh, the trail leads you to China where you go to Hong Kong and uh, Kowloon and trying to find the villainous Landy before you, yeah, architecture. That's the other glorious thing about Shenmue is that this series existed before performance capture was really a thing in games. And bless, bless the God on high, they did not decide to use performance capture for this one. So everything's still keyframed, which makes everyone move like a robot. Which I think only adds to the charm of the game. Because essentially, it, in a game that tries to recreate real life in every detail, the ways in which it falls short really just create this weird alternate dimension. Hey, you! Also, yes, this yes. is the... You need to pay for your room tonight. It's almost like Tim and Eric. Tell me you don't have any cash. Stuff. No, I do. Also, there are characters like this who just are like that. Ah, uh, thank you. One of the accidental things about Shenmue is that in trying to recreate real life, it accidentally recreates just how weird and bizarre and quirky most people end up being just because Good of your morning, busted conversations and broken dialogue. Did you get it's, enough rest? It's wonderful. Yeah. Did you? Yes, I did. Good. I'm going to head out then. Okay. Yeah, Brooklyn. I always think that too. It's the it's the landlady from Kung Fu Hustle. Oh, this must be her when she was younger. Maybe. So it's it's weird too because I found her photo in a barber shop and she still had rollers in. Oh, we got a side quest here. Let me check this out. Um you again. Good timing. Will you do me a favor? Of course. Anything. Really? We had a skipper. A skipper? Someone who runs out without paying for their room. The employees are searching, but could you help too? Could you find him and get him to pay up? Yes, I can do that. I'll help. 
I will. Thanks. I had a feeling you would. I just have a helpful if face. If only all of our customers were more like you. Uh, I don't think you want that. Actually, no. And we're... Oh, okay. Thanks. You're looking for a seedy guy named Bai Tung Jo. He stuffed himself with so much food and drink before running I like out. her skirt. He won't get away with this. It's slung pretty low, but it's a... skinny and has white hair. Huh. Got it? Got it. He can't have gone far. Comb the area around here. What's up, Sibling Jeremy? Welcome. Oh, one more thing. Uh... Since you're here anyway, do you want to buy a telephone card? It's five yuan for one telephone card. Uh, McWaffle 10? More than one call. Or 10 then? Buy a bunch of cards. Five yuan a pop. Thank you for the resub. Hey, also, Benicio Del Pollo, thank you. If you don't like it, take it up with whoever set the price. So? How many do you want? Bernie Sanders campaign simulator? Selling phone cards? I did call Tom. We had a nice talk. It was great. I also like how her face is on the phone card. From Chobu Telecom. This card is for coin telephone on Chobu. Don't bend or stain and avoid magnetic fields. No refunds available. After usage, a punched hole shows approximate remaining units. International calls are also available. She must be a local celebrity. That's what I'm going to choose to believe. Yeah, thanks. If you're going to make more than one call, you should buy a bunch of cards. Yeah, Tom is a nice cold ho homie. What's up, Iceman? Welcome. Oh, okay. oh, that's right. There's always a nice spread in here. She knows what she's doing. Oh, hello, sir. How about we have a nice human it's conversation, you and I? Hmm? Weren't you... Huh? You're staying at that hotel, right? The one That's we're right. in? Where are you from? Right now? Japan. It's not often you see Japanese folks around here. Let's have a chat about Japan sometime. That's a normal thing to say. Let's talk about Japan. I was curious how much of the awkward dialogue and bad acting is intentional. <sighs> Robert, I'm going to say 50%. If I'm being generous, I think 50% of this game's charm is, is intentional. I think... They tried to record dialogue in the performance and the sort of writing that people really talk like to try and make it realistic. But when people really talk, it sounds weird and, and boring and bad, which ends up being a lot like Shenmue. So I think I think they maybe intentionally didn't get professional voice actors. Oh yeah, these guys. So just like China, there's some dudes doing kung fu out here. Um, most importantly, there was a flyer for a job driving forklifts. And if that's in Shenmue 3, this is going to become a 10 out of 10 game instantly. Um, Sir Crazy Fire, thank you for the Prime sub. I don't know who to talk to about that, though. Pardon me. Do you need help? I need a job, I'm dog. Tour guide oh. for Nyawu, so I can help you find just about anything. Oh, let's see what he has How to do say. I get to Sonari Road? You have excellent taste, sir. It's the prettiest spot in Nyawu. Just head along the pier past the port and follow the riverbank. I see. Oh, wait. The pier's closed. Hmm. You can only get there through Vendor Avenue. That was a weak snap. I can't snap with my left hand very well. Hold on. Many thanks. Nope. I can, oh, there it goes. I just gotta loosen up a little bit. I can do right pretty well. Yeah, well. Yeah, uh, Jay Lavy, he never took the band-aid off. And he doesn't change his pants. Yes. Yes. This is what we need. Yes, 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 yes. Time job. So... Uh, anyone give have a uh, does this game give a recap of what happened in one and two? I'm pretty sure it does. Yes. Uh, yeah, warranty. There are not dialogue options. At sometimes you can do yes no, but often it doesn't even really acknowledge that. Oh shit! Here we go. Excuse me. Uh, finally, I'm here for the job. This is actually the brother of the character you carry boxes with in Shenmue 2. Oh, got some kind of stomach bug. Yes. Yes! Move this all by myself. You can't. I'll pay you so. And all I have to do is move this stuff, right? Buck. Then you'll help. Yes. Oh, he's so excited. I'm so excited. Hmm. Best Toast says, "Just got a PS4 and some games, including Death Stranding, based on how you talked about it." I got to the destroyed mall and had BT scare the shit out of me. Loving it though. Yeah, I mean, good. You're in the you're in the flow. Great. I could really use the help. Let's get started then. Yes. Yes. Ugh, it's been so long since I've driven a forklift. Rio's an old hand at this shit. I love it. Take those items to the ship. 
Using the forklift. Can do. No races though? I mean, that's Here's fine. This is already the best video game ever made. You ever play Kenshi? Yep. Not yet. Everyone tells me Kenshi is my game. Um, I am... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god! Is this first person? Yeah! Straight up immersive forklifting. Stacking it will do no good. Oh, okay. Alright, fine. Where do I go? I guess... I wasn't really looking. To the ship. To the ship, he said. Uh... Uh... Maybe like down here? Uh, this doesn't... Uh... Okay. This seems... seems right. Open your map. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm going the right. <laughs> there is a map. You guys, this is this is the best. Oh my god. This is the absolute best. Uh I I hope I never I don't think I for a second doubted this game. I'm gonna say Yeah, pure immersion. Oh hamburgers, you do this at your actual job? Alright, you can critique my form then. You can uh, you can give me pro gamer tips here. This game rules. Oh my god, this music is so good. Everything about this is good. This is excellent. Oh boy, I'm running out of time. I gotta go. 20 out of 10. Yeah. 25 out of 10. We gotta we gotta come up with a new scale here. Love it. Love it so much. I play Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, I started it. But I didn't play it as much as I should have. Uh, just never found the time. It seemed like a really cool game, though. Uh, and you're playing it on hardcore mode? Yeah, that's that's probably what I would like to do, too. Something where just staying alive is a real challenge. I always intended to go back to it. We'll see if I ever actually carve out the time for it. There's too many good games, you guys. Oh, you can't stack them? Alright, fine. To me, what the hell is Shenmue 3? Uh, it is the most immersive game ever made. You can do anything you want. You can do anything you want. You do wear clothes in this game. Chapless pants, it's true. You can change your clothes now. Shenmue 3, it's a new millennium. You can do whatever you want. Name something you want to do, and you can do it in Shenmue 3. That's why it defies explanation, because Shenmue 3 is everything. It's all video games. Yeah, no mod to take off for your shirt. I mean, I haven't really looked, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess that there's probably not. You can carry a. You wanna kiss a girl? Ooh. Oh, ouch. Okay, Dr. Leviathan. Ooh. <laughs> okay, well, you found the one thing you can't do at Shed Me 3. <laughs> I forgot to mention Ryo is uh, religiously asexual. He, uh, despite having a generous heaping of, of sexuality thrown at him by two different women, he, uh, he's just. He's not there. His mind's just not there. I, uh... That's okay. He's, he needs... He wants revenge. That's what he wants. And that's, what he, that's what he needs. I actually think... I could be wrong about this. I think if you actually look at the games and look at the way Ryo acts, and even some dialogue options, because you, you do get some dialogue options when you're on the phone. I called Tom. He asked me about women. And there was legit an option that Ryo said not interested. So I think you can make the case that Ryo might actually be the world's first asexual video game character. Might be the world's first. Can you file taxes in Shenmue? You don't need to because you're doing all your work under the table. What's up, Una? Also Pringle, thank you for the Risa. I'm just curious, what is Pringle bread? Is that an actual food stuff? Did you make a loaf of bread and like crumble up a bunch of Pringle chips in it? Because if that's if that's the case, I actually want to eat that. Maybe I'll make it now. Despite having coffee, I'm endlessly exhausted. Ooh, that's not good. 
Are you, uh... Sleeping well? Wouldn't Pringle bread technically be hash browns? Checks out. He's a diehard Warren G fan. Regulator's gotta regulate first and get girls later. I don't think Warren G existed yet. <laughs> this game takes place in 86, I think. But I can I can definitely believe that uh, Rio's prescience, Rio's utter clairvoyance would have him uh, hum in those bars before they even existed. This Pringles bread hash brown abomination just gets more appealing as we go. Yeah. Can't you tilt the forts back? You don't need to. Rio's that good at forklift driving. See? I don't know why it raises all the way up when you come in, come in to, to drop it off. Bam. Job well done. I'll take my paycheck, please, and thank you. Uh, once I deliver all the boxes, what do I do? Look, Gar, go as quickly and accurately as you can. If you exceed the quota, the next reward will be bigger. Oh, okay, that's right. You get paid per box, so if you over-deliver, you get paid more. How's you in the best chat on Twitch doing tonight? Well, I'm doing great. I don't know about you guys. I, uh, I'm still... This is so weird, and maybe I'm oversharing a little bit, but I'm still feeling some twinges kicking around from the weird migraine that I got. Like, it just won't go away. I, uh, I got back in the gym today, which was good. Um, but, yeah, sometimes when I bent over, I could kind of feel the blood and pressure rushing to my head. Um, which is not a good feeling. Also, it just kind of really, really sort of just drained me more than it usually does. So, I don't know. It usually doesn't stick around this long. Usually it's like one afternoon. It comes and goes. Working cybersecurity. Shit's always on fire. I think one of my bosses fucked up and got super fired. So now instead, it's like a small garbage fire. It's like a California landfill fire. So I and the person they're turning to to fix it. I'm the administrative assistant. We have a problem. Oof. Well, good news. You basically just got a promotion. Um, if you have to fill in for your... For your sysadmin like that. Um... No! Go! No! Then, uh... I mean, you can apply for another job and be like, I did this work. And then you can get paid fuckloads of money. Can you grab two boxes at the same time? That's what an elite gamer would do. Sadly, no. Although, maybe I am... Assuming too much based on my prior Shenmue forklift experience. Yeah, assistant to the administrator. I had a hemiplegic migraine that put me in the hospital with stroke symptoms and it took weeks for things to, like that to stop happening. Random aches when I moved too quickly or spontaneous foggy mindedness. Yeah, digital tears, that's kind of, that's kind of what I get in a very acute sense. It's just sticking around longer this time, so I'm trying not to get worried about it. It is, it is tapering off, but it does concern me that it, it did last longer. I'm gonna say it's, it's... I've been through this before, so it's not uncommon, but basically I, I, the migraine came on and I, for today. I didn't medicate it right away. Um, huh. hell yeah. Now I'm making the, the fucking bucks. Now I can go to, uh, Great job, buddy. This port is crazy. not usually this whooped. I eat right, I drink water, I take stairs I'm and exercise, shit just on fire. Extra for this. I hear you. Got it. Thanks. Also, I've heard that you got promoted thing all week, and I'm proud of myself. Just really Come fucking sleepy. Back, you I hear you, Seraphina. I'll see you later. You're in the you're in the middle of the shit right now. You'll get out of it eventually. Looking at how you're built, I'd say you do martial arts. I thought we were. It might be a strange way of thanking you. What? But I'll teach you a special technique. I thought we were making paper here. All right. Welcome to Shemu, everybody. Stack some paper, beat some ass. At 5 PM. Oh, okay. Hello, Arcano Raptor. Uh, okay, cool, Carmine. Yeah, I look forward. I'll uh, hit me up on Discord about that. That sounds cool. I uh, I just realized I need a I need a re emote. I need to maybe rant and re are the same thing. Oh, oh yeah, it's uh, forgot he's around. My boy Ren. Yeah. Yo, nice work, man. Hey. Huh. Later. <laughs> We're tight, homies. We we got a lot going on. Hey. Huh? Oh, it's you again. 
This is perfect. I didn't go anywhere. Man. Whatever. I refuse. At least listen to me. There's a life on the line here. <sighs> Let's hear it. This is a real tearjerker. I met this old geezer. His grandkid is getting married, but the geezer is dying. He doesn't have much time left. He wants to make it to his grandkid's wedding. Ain't it sad? And then what happened? Ever hear of the almond mushroom? No. They call it the mushroom of life. Huh? It's a medicinal mushroom. If he had it, he could live longer. But it's crazy rare. It'd take forever for me to find it. And you want help finding it? You got it. Come on. Can't you help a pitiful old man? Yeah, he does look like he's right out of One Piece, <laughs> Mia Zedong. I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Also, your username now is especially fitting, since we I are in the Glorious Republic ask. of China. And? I found out that you can get them at pharmacies and Chinese medicine shops. Pharmacies and Chinese medicine shops. God, he's always muttering to himself. Time. Let's split pharmacies. Up. Okay. M medicine I'll shop. I'll take care of the area from the harbor up to Vendor Avenue. You get the area from Vendor Avenue to Blossom Road. That's fine. I'm counting on you, man. <laughs> Lieutenant Krispy Kreme, thank you for the sub. Uh, one of the things you can do in this game... Uh, one of the one of the things that they did with Shenmue that no one cared about and actually didn't matter <laughs> is that they had like they have specific NPCs that live in the city and each one of those NPCs has like a daily routine so they'll get up they'll leave their house they'll go to work they'll go back to their house and you can follow them around and like figure out where everyone works and where they all live if you want to there's no reason for any of that um, in the first Shenmue there were things of like I gotta find the barber. And if it wasn't working hours, you could go find him at his house, but there was not a whole lot of reason for that. There's like a... Shenmue is, is a delightful game where their ambition greatly outstripped their practicality. Yes, I am saying Red Dead 2 copied them. That's exactly what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, there's a... What's, what's great, if you consider this great, is uh, the, like the fan community that sprung up about Shenmue would basically dive into the games and catalog all that stuff. So there's like whole wikis about every single person in Shenmue and what their daily routines are. I think there was one where like, because of course this happened, um, somebody followed everyone around and like cataloged all their underwear because most people would go upstairs at some point and you could just sit on the ground and like stare up their skirts. So that's cool. Um, that makes it the most anime. Oh, Pringle, thank you for gifting a sub. Skyrim did that too? I guess so. Yeah. But Shenmue did it first. There's also a wiki page, and I believe this was a hard netting entry, where somebody cataloged all of the TV sets in Shenmue 1. Um, I think they were mostly going after the red TV, but I think incidentally they ended up cataloging where all of the TVs were in, uh, what was it? It was um, Yamanose and Sakargaoka in the first game. I mean, for me, it was just kind of a trip to, to see a game set in Japan in the 80s, which was Shenmue 1. Um, since then, we've had Yakuza and some other games that kind of try to do more real-life settings. Uh, I'm supposed to, yeah, I'm supposed to be checking out, checking out uh, drugstores and stuff. But I don't remember what I was told to do. I'll check the shops on Blossom Road from Vendor Avenue. Is this Blossom Road? Yeah, Yakuza Zero did that super well. Um, but Shemi was first, you guys. Come on, come on. I love I love Yakuza so much. I kind of want to get done with Shemi Three so I can move on to <laughs> to play Yakuza. Uh, oh, Captain, my Captain, thank you for the resub. Yeah, it's not technically a republic. Oh, Red Ascendant, what an excellent four up of emotes. Thank you. Wow. Uh, I don't know where Blossom Road starts. So, what do you say? Sometimes when you get it just right, Rio will actually zoom into a sign and translate it for you. But, uh, 
It is a little canonical that it doesn't happen here because I don't think Ryo understands Chinese. Hmm. I feel like the only Yakuza fan that didn't like Judgment. Hmm. I'm, I'm curious to try Judgment. I basically uh, want to play through the entire series, like chronologically. You know, accepting, substituting Kiwami for the original releases. What's going to pick up Yakuza? Which one should you start with? Well, Kasa, um, Yakuza 0 and Kiwami 1 and 2 are on Game Pass right now. So, Yakuza 0. I'm going to play in any specific order, just just numerically, like starting with 0 and then Kiwami 1, Kiwami 2. I don't... Are they doing Kiwami for 3? I know, I think they did re-releases for 3. 3, 4, and 5. Yeah, zero. I think I think zero is pretty widely acknowledged to be the uh, the entry point for the series now. They re-release them. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, they're probably modern enough that it's not that bad. Oh, there's a drink store. Yakuza yeah, three was on. Um. Or Yakuza. Yeah, uh... Hello there. Uh. I'll get what you need right away. Why does he have? Do you have almond mushroom? Shit spattered on him. Almond mushroom. My apologies. I'm afraid we're all out. I see. Is there anything else you need? If it's medicine you want, we've got it. Whenever and whatever. I'll buy a set of herbs from you if you've got them. Okay. <sighs> well, while I'm flush with cash, I ought to buy at least one snake, snake power. It's all highly effective. That's a nice bow, thank you. You wouldn't buy medicine from a guy that looks like that? Why? You're saying he's not the picture of health? Lion smart ball? I don't think I've been out. I'll give it a try. I am absolutely playing Lion Smart Ball. Oh, it's this, okay. Oh, okay, it's the right stick. All right, boink. Smart ball, I had smart ball. I think the... Oh, okay, there's no timer on this one. You just have to get the balls in all the holes. Sorry, my life, am I right? Nah, 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 nah. Lights warm! Oh. These just love their pachinko. Fuck yeah. Oh. I've never played like a legit pachinko machine. I want to. Damn it. Ah! You gotta have the you gotta have a feather touch to get it on the right side. Jeez. Ugh. Me and my friend are in an argument about the reactor explosion in Final Fantasy VII. Are you worried? Are you mad about the uh, the retcon and the the remake? They softened up Avalanche, so they're not le legitimate eco terrorists and mass murderers. Duh. I've got to be more precise. I've got to be People. more precise. Missed a word there. I, 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 you know what, Rio? It's fine. We're running out of time. Why is there a chi- oh, you a China. Hey, how about some smart ball? Which way is Sonari Road? I've never been there. Yeah, you're a baby. I see. <laughs> what do you mean, mister? I'm seven! You want to see our business license? Go over to smart and funny. Oh man, these people must beef all the time. Lion smart ball and smart and funny. Just sitting in their shops glaring at each other across the street. Fucking kid over there. Everyone goes and plays at the store with the kid in it because they feel bad for the kid. Oh, is it Gradius shit? Wait, Gradius is Konami. They can't do that. You can't do that. Oh, there's a move scroll too. <laughs> Andrew Miss, thank you for gifting all those subs. Appreciate it. I'll give it a try. Oh, wow. Oof. Both shops have the same music? Yeah. 
Which one came up with it first, do you think? I'm not supposed to wake up at this hour because it's 5 a.m. in Europe, but I guess I'm not going back to sleep again. Ah, uh, No, girl, you gotta work. Maybe. Maybe you don't. Actually, I don't know anything. Oh, oh. Okay, well. Should I play the OG Final Fantasy VII for the remake? Uh. Oh, I got the difficult one. All right. Red Ascendant, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. I'm gonna say no. Do you really like JRPGs? Because if so, then yeah, you might actually enjoy it, but I don't know that it's gonna hold up, especially if you're not into those kinds of games, uh, just by their format. Yeah, that little girl's gonna gonna get me now that I've come over to the other shop. Ugh. LJ... Hold on. L. Joseph? I think that's how that goes. Thank you for the prime sub. Or thank you for the sub sub. Appreciate that. Uh -uh. Got a gifted a sub from another channel the exact same time I got it from here. Hey! Hell yeah! That's uh that's generosity. Oh damn it. Oh, binary domain is three dollars. That is a legit fun game. Well, Joseph? Yeah, okay. I got it right. Last RPG I played like that was Shining Force? Oh my god. Then yeah, uh... I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Uh, maybe you don't need to do that. Also, I think playing it now might actually be not great, because you might be tempted to get into the conversation about Seven, and I imagine if you played it now, a lot of your input would probably be, why the fuck does everyone think this is a, a great game? Oh, you played it for the first time last year and enjoyed it? Okay. Precise. Well then, uh, I take I'll it back. Going. Maybe it holds up better than I think. I'll pass. No capital I, Joseph. What? Oh, it's an I. Got you. Okay. That still didn't read. <laughs> when you spelled it out, got it. I, Joseph. Okay. Understood. Thank you for, uh... Thank you for literally spelling it out. Palm readings. Wait. There's no... This Final Fantasy VII demo isn't on Steam, is it? No, it's on PS4. I said that weird. PS4. I don't think I've been down this... Oh, wait, I have been down here before. Yeah. Ooh. Martial arts store? What up, brother? You can tell by my physique that I do martial arts. Hello and welcome. Every home needs a wooden dummy. Could I show you one? What'd you call me? Hey! Uh, maybe later. Could you tell me how to get to Sonari Road? Sonari Road? It's pretty far from here. You'll probably need to go through Vendor Avenue first. There are signs posted along the way, so you should be fine. Well, thank you for recommending Nier Automata, new obsession. Yeah, I've, I've been waiting to really dive into that game. Um... That's a game that I want to, like, kind of devote all my attention to once I get started on it. I feel like bouncing back and forth between that and other games wouldn't do it much of a service, so... Yeah, Kamachima, I've always had this shirt, I just never used it, really. I... why am I staring at this sign? Oh, there's mirrors in here. Hmm. What's that? Rock. rock only found Good rock. Direction. This is mainland China or Hong Kong? I'm pretty sure this is mainland China. You go to Hong Kong and Shenmue too. Know of it. Why would a traveler like yourself? People seeking this stone came all the way to buy loot. Rock. What? Come to think of it, there was somebody rather inquisitive about this rock. That's rather curious. We're getting clues. What's up, Dr. Fullhouse? Isn't it, though? It was a thug from the Red Snakes. He was asking for <laughs> names of stonemasons and their whereabouts. <laughs> the Red Snakes. Dude's rolling in, <laughs> rolling into the... <laughs> rolling into the antique shop. Their territory, but I have no idea where they're holed up. Hiss him up, boys! Is this plot? Yes. This is absolutely plot. 
Well, I'm glad I got all those clues. I don't mind if you just look, but try not to touch anything. Maybe I'll just watch Caleb Hart do a uh, 100% speed run. Oh, uh, what is he? What is he running? One of the Mega Man X's. All the Mega Man X's. Ooh, people have different phone cards. Cool. Look at all these cool things I can buy. It, like you can buy all this shit, but all it does is sit in your inventory. Genuine articles. So have a look. Glad you started streaming. I always thought Funhouse Videos didn't have enough Lawrence in them. Well, G Lavi, you. I appreciate your taste. You have a. Hey, 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 what's up? You don't, you don't really fit in here, do you? Is that Mark or Bill? Excuse me. Hmm? Oh, it's you. Are we friends? Sorry. I saw you at Hotel Niau. Do you remember? Ah, yes. Did that? It must be nice to travel around with such a cute girl. It is James, holy shit. We're not... That's it. And conversation over. USA? Hold on. Hello. Hi there. Oh, the people you'll meet in Shenmue. Is he wearing sweatpants or jeans? Uh, now that I look at him from the back, that's definitely not James. Get some... Oh! That's really cute! Little Rio. More smart ball. These are really popping off at the smart ball tables. Wait, that's like a print. Oh, well, it's kind of sewn in. Can I ask you something? Red Ascendant, thank you what? for the sub. Favorite craft beer in California. Um. It'd be fastest to head through Vendor Avenue. Okay, great. I guess I'm going Thanks. the wrong way. Uh, I think... So, I haven't tried a ton of the craft beers in California. Uh, ever since I moved here, I've been on a, on a perpetual cycle of trying to diet and then not dieting. Um, and in my head, beer is a non-diet drink. Um, but... Uh, one of the ones that sticks out on my head right now is Anchor Steam beer, which I think comes from the Bay Area. But it's, it's pretty good. I like it a lot. Oh, we had another ghost child. Oh, I missed it. Twisted luck. Or sorry, twisted luck. Thank you for the sub. Yeah, there's some. Uh, I'm a seltzer man. That's right. Which this is, I guess, ostensibly marketed as beer. But yeah, you can shave off like a hundred calories a drink that way. Uh, all right. So I'll go this way. Where was I supposed to find this stupid mushroom? Uh. Check the shops on Blossom Road from Vendor Avenue. So I guess Vendor Avenue is this other is another way. Bargain Buddha? Huh. I got you a discount Buddha. Hope you feel better. Drinking a tall boy PBR? Uh. I love this stand so much. Like legit Chinese knockoffs, except they're awesome. Ah, I want that so bad. That's actually a pretty good, like uh that's like borderline Pepe right there. Uh, cool beans. Thank you for gifting a sub to Miao Zedong. Way to show your uh, your support for glorious China. I think it's this. I think it's the other, the other way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's here. I have a shirt that looks just like that. Oh, really, Geo? Oh man, that's awesome. Do you think the voice acting in Japanese or Chinese sounds as awkward as the English dub? I don't know. Genuinely, don't know. I don't care. Because I love this game. It's perfect. Oh, I love the little stompy kid. He's going. He's got places to go. This kid's going to run Apple in a couple of years. And that kid was Steve Jobs. You can tell by how kids walk. How authoritatively kids walk. Whether or not they're going to be CEOs. That's true. I'm a child psychologist. Oh, Lord. He's stomping. Yeah. Another boot of heaven? Okay. This guy selling corn? Oh, he's no, it's the fishing stand. Uh, got some more turtle races, I think. Yeah. Um. Oh, Scenario Road. Okay. Well, 
I guess I'll go this way. We'll do the plot, because I didn't find the, uh, the medicine store. I don't know if side, if side requests fail out if you take too long. I do know if you go back and talk to the person without getting the item they need first, you will automatically fail it. That's oh, five o'clock? Oh crap. Oh crap. It is time to train your right seat. I gotta turn around. This game doesn't look as terrible as I've heard. Yeah. People really like dunking on this game. I think it's got a lot... It's got a lot of heart. It's got a lot of soul. It's got a lot of charm. What it doesn't have is a lot of punching things. It doesn't it doesn't have a lot of like action. It doesn't have a lot of shooting. The dialogue's not all that interesting. I think it's I think it's riveting. But that's just me. Um I get why people dunk on it. It's it's an easy game to dunk on. But there's really nothing else like it. And I think it's kind of a shame to be so dismissive towards it. Cuz it does have it does offer something other games don't. Even if that's something that no one necessarily wants or asked for. <laughs> Uh, the good news is we won't have to worry about this anymore because I don't think there's ever going to be another one of these. Maybe in 20 years, once everyone forgets how much money they lose every time. Sometimes he will actually... God, sometimes the game will actually, like, translate and convert these signs. And that's kind of important because you have to know where you are or what the names of roads are. But, uh, they don't tell you all the time. Damn it. Because, yeah, the NPCs are like, well, there's signs everywhere. It's like, well, dog, sorry. Didn't brush up on my uh, Cantonese before playing goddamn Shenmue 3. Fights feel epic because of the buildup and move progression, but it takes so long, but I love it. So, yeah, Wamburgers, uh, or sorry, all hamburgers, excuse me. I, uh, I love it too. I unironically love it, but I also get why. People don't. Been playing Final Fantasy XI for almost 18 years. Ooh, Gipali, you're still, you're still in the, in the eleven vortex. I skipped that a long time ago. I uh, 14 is my drug now, which is uh, it's a lot kinder. It's a lot kinder on the on the complexion. Yeah, it's true. Could use Google Translate. That hasn't been super effective for me though. Uh, it's a cool, it's cool tech, and it works sometimes. I tried using it when I was signing up for Beat Mania. A little chunky, a little chunky. Uh, Echo, thank you for gifting a sub. You are, you are on a tear, my man. Thank you. Oh yeah, teach me Kung Fu. Damn it, where is he? He might be in here. Where's this cool guy? Riff Tamblin. Hi. Hey, kid. Want to put all that muscle to good use? Huh? You want to work, don't you? We're always looking for part-timers to help move stuff around. I'm not interested. Then get out of here already. Uh, does your health drain as the day goes on? Yes. Jobs, but at least here you're out in the sun. Um. Right. Specifically, your stamina drains when you run, and then you have to eat food to get it back, or they won't let you run anymore. Or you'll be like, oh, I'm tired. Anyway, that dude's name... Hold on. I can't remember this guy's name. He's not gonna tell me. He's just there. Okay. Uh, Holy Bones. Thanks for the resub. Yes, this guy's name is Riff Tamblin. Just want to point that out. I wasn't making that up. That's his name. This guy. With this chin. And this jacket. It says Tomcat. And has some, like, Air Force patches on it. His name is Riff Tamblin. God. The most American man. Where is this dude? It's six o'clock. It's time. We had a play date. Show me a move. Damn it. Maybe he's back up here. Where the other kung fu is. These guys are all out of sync. Oh, this, this sound is so great. on the pier? Oh, okay. Look, 
like how it keeps looking back and forth. Oh, there's a Kung Fu Man over there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh there's another Kung Fu Man over there. Oh, that's cool. I wonder, oh, there's another Kung Fu Man. How did he get there? Oh, oh there's another one. Echo, thank you for gifting a sub. I do have a stream schedule. I'm glad you asked, uh, Joseph. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, there should be a link to the stream schedule, which I have as a public Google Calendar, uh, which I try to keep updated with stuff. Um, you can also go to, you can use the schedule, oh, thank you for the tip, by the way. Um, you can use the, I think, schedule command, and that'll put the link in chat for you. Uh, or you can just type in bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash law stream, L-A-W stream. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a Google Calendar, so if you add it to your calendar, it should convert into your time zone, which should make it easy to oh, tell hey there. what I'm going to stream and I'm waiting for you. Um, I'll admit, I'm going to teach you an unbelievable move. Some of those times are a little unreliable, forte, the brawler's up a cut but uh, I try to keep to it. Uh, CJK9, I appreciate it. Appreciate your cheer. Brawler's uppercut two. Whoosh. So you want to learn it? Yes, please. All right. Why is it closely? Two. First, take a few steps back. Then. Well, Twitch, notify me when you're on. If you follow me and have notifications enabled, yes, it will. But a, a lot of people turn notifications off, or they're off by default, or uh. You know. Take a few steps back. <laughs> Wacky. What about the first brawler's uppercut? You don't want to know what happened to that guy. Wasn't a good move. We'll leave it at that. All right. And Rio just left him in there. Hero. I'm a hero. I think Tiger Thigh was the good one. Dr. Eleven, thank you for that. Thank you for these six and nine bits. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Uh, okay, well. I really feel bad. I wanna... I, I have done so few side quests. Check the shops on Blossom Road from Vendor Avenue. Hmm. Yeah, Levy. Uh, I feel like Bruce and I have some pretty great stream communities. I'm bragging a little bit, but I think we tend to we tend to attract some pretty good people around us. Yeah, I play 14 a lot, Gipali. Um Run end game is 11 with Link Shell, so it's hard to juggle both. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, like if if you're in tight with a with a perma group, there's really no. Definitely don't leave that. That's what we all wish we had. Uh. I always wanted that in 11. I, I, I was usually playing solo, so I shockingly didn't get that far. I think I got like... I think I was like white maid, or I was monk. Um, I was monk as main class. And then I was like, fuck, this is terrible. So I needed to... Um, I needed to get some kind of healing ability, so I, I did sub job as white mage. Um, and then just spent a long time punching monsters by myself, listening to that music. Uh, watching, uh, watching passions on TV. I remember those times fondly, believe it or not. Uh, Dr. Full House, thanks for gifting a sub. But yes, Quintonius. That's a, Senpai acknowledging you is the whole point of Twitch, right? That's why we're all here. All, we're all here to get acknowledged. Oh, there it goes. Oh, Alright, I looked at that before. Uh, why did it remember where the because the roads are marked somewhere sometime hey baroni uh thank you for the thank you for the generous cheer i do know the four voodoo and i only know to pronounce it that way because of shenmu are you in john mc123 or 20xx uh if you look close enough you might find a little cameo in every john wick that's right it's me floating as a ghostly apparition at at one percent opacity over the entire film. Yes, yeah, I'm actually in there. You've got a uh, 
You gotta zoom and enhance quite a bit, but you can you can make it out. You just gotta believe. I better eat something before I fall over. Yeah, so that's what happens when you don't when you just run around like an idiot all day. <sighs> I'm trying to find some road sign that tells me where Blossom Road or Vendor Avenue is. <laughs> yeah, see Pong Bopper's seen it. I'm gonna cram four whole apples down my throat. Actually more like seven, whatever. That's a cute cafe, so... Alright, what are you? Hopefully you're one of the things. Do you have to save cats in this game? Sadly, no. As far as I know, there is... Well, shit, there was a cat. There's a lot of cats, for some reason. Oh. You can get capsule toys that are tables. Neat. Luckily though, this is important. The uh, tomato shop music is still in the game. Ah, uh, it's like coming home. You can get, I guess, a manga about Guan Yu. You know it'll never happen again, guys? It'll never, well, this part's obvious, but it'll never be the 80s. And you'll never go into a convenience store and buy a fat stack of magazines and just flip through them all. That'll never happen. That's a fashionable hair. Do you have a minute? Hello, and welcome to the tomato convenience store. Is this your first visit? Please. No. I've been to your stores in Yokosuka and Hong Kong. Hell yeah, you have! Say what? So you're from the homeland? Oh, she's Japanese? I've always wanted to work at a Japanese-style convenience store. Gotcha. I think this convenience store thing is gonna catch on. I'm still not used to dealing with people. Let me know if I'm acting strange. Ryo, you found your perfect woman. Uh, sure. You have no right to talk to her that way. How dare you? You you found the one person that can relate to you. Do you have a minute? Hello, and welcome to the tomato convenience store. Thanks for stopping by. Take your time and have a look around. If you're waiting for someone, please do so in the cafe area. Uh, sure. God, the chemistry between these two is just... It's electrifying. <laughs> Out into the cold. Rio just turns around and stares at her and... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> just fogging up the glass. <laughs> Who is she talking to? <laughs> what? Ah. Uh. Oh, worlds apart. So close, yet so far away. Ah. Uh. The one thing I want more than anything, I want a, I want a photo mode in Shenmue 3 so I can do things like have Ryo peeking through the window and then have the camera inside the tomato store with, like, her just <laughs> staring at the ground. Oh, Rio. You gotta back off, dude. It's not healthy what you're doing. Well, a clinic might have, uh, medicine. This place looks pretty classy, too. And because it's modern tech, we don't have to load when we go into or out of these, uh, these areas. It's great. Sorry. Shemmy 3 is um... great. Ah, also like how he apologizes welcome. immediately on walking inside. Oh, sorry. Pringle bread. What a cheer! Thank you. I don't get many. Six nine four twenty. Have been far too quiet. But that's not reflective of my service, no sir. The people of Niao are simply too healthy. These days, my only patients are injured petty criminals. There's lots of talk about some thugs who will fight anyone they cross paths with, though. Ah. Oh. I just hope I get to see more patients, criminals, thugs, or otherwise. It gets awfully lonely around here. <laughs> Do forget. Yeah, that's a lot to dump on a dude who Bring just walked in. You just stand there. Uh, please sit. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, have some dim sum. No thanks. Sorry. You, you, I have to go. You want some food? Are you, are you, are you hurt? I. Ooh. I, I'm sorry. I'm just. Uh, I'm really lonely. Uh, I made snacks. Uh. Hey, you want to talk about, uh, contusions? I'm, uh... 
I love the I love the NPCs that can out awkward Rio. Like when somebody puts Rio on the back foot, you know shit's real. Oh, the pharmacy. They probably have uh, super mushroom or whatever it is. Yeah, it's got to be here, right? Ooh, this music though. Ooh. The soundtrack is wild and all of a sudden. What's this? What, what's this? I'll take it. Yeah, I'm gonna need those herb maps. That is one. Oh, we got cold medicine, stomach medicine, headache, drugs. Wait, why isn't it headache medicine? Oh, whatever. Ooh, and my favorite, medicine. Oh, I think it's cold medicine, yeah. Well, as long as you have one of three illnesses, you'll be fine. I'm starting to think this may not be our spot. Oh, some gauze? That's good. Hi there. Welcome. What's troubling you? Whatever your ailment, we have the remedy. I'm not here for- Here, have an ice cold beer. Oh, I get it. Yes, I know exactly what you're worried about. You do? Step right on over there and they'll get you sorted out. People get confused and come in here all the time. Fear not. I fiercely protect my customers' privacy. Uh-huh. Look at the time. I should get back to the hotel. Uh, Echo Ignition, thank you for gifting the sub again. Damn it! I didn't hit the right button, so like... <sighs> for some reason this game... A is talk, and X is, like, quest dialogue. So I gotta... I, I still gotta go back there and ask her about it. Yeah. It seems the Red Snakes didn't take too kindly to the priests of Washington <laughs> Temple. Squid Toe, well, you're doing the right thing, then. I can imagine. Phantom Fog, I still thanks for resubbing. Are, though. How about you? Have you learned anything? Oh, she looks like May. I have... She is a Chinese woman. They've been targeting shops run by I think it's that maybe the hat. Residents. Uh. They're disgusting criminals. If I can just figure out where they hang out. Sonari Road. Yeah. What? Several people say they've seen the red snakes along Sonari Road. Is that so? Oh, the glasses? Yeah. That's true, Mio. They all. I'm going to go back to the room. I guess Shenhua's just here to give you leads okay. in case you're falling behind, or you get stuck. Now the one from the pharmacy, gotcha, okay. That actually makes a lot, yeah, that actually makes a lot more sense. She's better at this than you are? No, I already have that clue. All right, I think I called my mom and I called Tom, but I called Tom first. It's two different, two different styles, both of which have her face on them. All right, uh, let's see here. Shengui Shang is the ice coldest motherfucker in Shenmue. Uh, hamburgers, thanks for gifting a sub. Uh, Nozomi is the girl who, one of the two girls that was very attracted to me, but just did not, Ryo just could not pick up what was being put down there, just was incapable of it. Currently working for a sports broadcast company, would love to know what your standard edit turnarounds looked like. Oh, um, for me, or I don't know, for, for Funhouse, the standard was, I think, three to four days of edit time on a single gameplay video. Uh, when we started Funhouse, I was flipping those things in a day and a day and a half. Um, I would, yeah, I would basically flip a demo disc in a day, which let me tell you, that was not <laughs> easy to do, especially before we figured out how to start reliably capturing everything. Joy, Joy from Chimmy 2, well, I got her number. Um, Goro is one of the ice cold homeboys that I worked with on the docks back in Japan. I don't know who Xing Feng Mei is. Don't remember that. Tom is the hot dog vendor. We had a nice call. It was very, very wonderful. Inesan is is Ryo's mom, and I also don't remember who Masayuki Fukuhara is. So let's let's talk to Joy. It seems like everybody's missing Joy right now. Joy's fiery, and her theme song is great. The charming awkwardness of this game can't be an accident. Who knows, man. 50%, I want to say. Accident on purpose. Hello? Joy? Uh, Dio? Yeah. <laughs> Only one person is this awkward when they're saying hi. Where are you and what are you up to? I haven't heard from you once since you left 
left Hong Kong! Sorry about that. It's not easy to make calls where I've been. Is that right? Well? Well what? Ugh! Don't you have something to say to me? Okay. Joy. Ren. Bong. What is wrong with you, Rio? Um, I guess I'll talk about Joy. How are you doing, Joy? Alright. Huh. Mm, fine, I guess. That's good to hear. <laughs> you? <laughs> Sparta. So bad. I was stuck in a well again. Mm. I didn't call. <sighs> um. They're just grunting at each other over the phone. Hey, um. What's wrong, Joy? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Really. Nothing, huh? huh? Then there's nothing wrong with me, either. Alright. I guess I'll let you go, then. You what? Wait! What? You finally call, and that's it? Well, I didn't really have much to say. Is that right? <laughs> anyway, I'll call again. Yep, I won't get my hopes up. I'd be more worried if you did. Ugh. Damn you, Dio. Well, whatever. Just don't get hurt. Okay. I'll be careful. So that's the thing, like... God. You can joke about how Ryo is, like, on the spectrum. But with things like that, he's like... No, he's legitimately, like, asexual. Or something. Something's wrong with the boy. Um, I should call it quits for today. There's something going on, and it's like, is that is that accidental? I don't know. Like, Rio was always has always been a weird boy, um, but uh, it it like it, it still feels like I can't tell if they're actually leaning into that as a character trait or not, or if they just don't understand. Call her back. I, hey, I gotta pace it out. Uh, this is a long game with a lot of boring shit to do. So when you have something interesting to do, you learn to start morseling it out over time. You can't just go through all the phone calls in one night. Are you kidding me? I gotta have something to look forward to after I, after I work my day shift at the docks and then wander around town aimlessly for hours and hours. <laughs> Shenmue 3 is the best video game. <laughs> oh, I forget my room number. <laughs> yeah, keep her wanting more. <laughs> Uh, I think it's this? Nope. I think it, ah, there it is. 201. Did they replace my apples? They did. Looks good. Guess I'll take it. Close my day out by grabbing four apples one at a time and cramming them in my pockets. Cry it out. Yeah, this game rolls so hard. I got a little misty just thinking about how good this game is. She's D crazy. Yeah, I guess I guess like a lot of a lot of women in Asian territories, there are women who are just desperate for a good man. But ladies, it's not Rio. If Rio is asexual, it's the exact representation I need. Yeah, I think there are a lot of. Uh... That's the thing. Like, is it okay for Rio to be the the asexual icon gamers have been waiting for? I don't know. Alright, I gotta use the restroom. So, whew, got a lot to think about. I'll be right back, guys. See you soon. Also, Rednell, hey, good morning. Good to see you, man. Uh, I'll be right back. Welcome back. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry if, sorry if I accidentally dumped a, dumped a load of explaining on the actual asexual people in chat. I, uh... It's, um... Well, hey, we're all learning, right? Are those sailors? Maybe. It's funny, everyone... So the... This, this is not what anyone asked for, but here it comes. I'm about to... About to ramble about video games. Um... Any sexual apology came? Ah, I didn't do anything. Don't apologize for dumping loads on us. I would never... Uh, so everyone remembers that scene from Shenmue 1, not only because it's really weird to have a man going around asking intently for sailors, but it's also one of the 
beats in Shenmue where they don't tell you where to go. And uh, you have to just kind of figure it out. Like, you have to go around and ask and get clues. Which is, to me, one of the more interesting parts about Shenmue is that the game frequently will just hey, you. give you a loose goal you and dump you into the open world and say, go don't figure it out. You don't have and that is largely not something that no. ever happens in Japanese-developed games. So, uh, thank you. And back in, like, you know, 2000, to have an open world game where you have to, like, interact with people and find clues Hi, Leo. and use your own... Good morning. Yeah, it's kind of lifelike. It's kind of like the real world, isn't it? Yeah. I'm like when you fine. talk to somebody across the entire lobby of a hotel. How's the city treating you? Totally normal. I'm getting used to all of the people. <laughs> exactly. It's okay. Yeah? Good. I'll head out then. That lady's not terrifying. Okay. Be careful. This lady's... This... The... It's from a wiki. Oh, okay. Uh, it tells you why Ryo is the way he is with the girls. Apparently when he's a kid he used to be a big shot with the ladies in his school, but ended up getting into a fight with somebody. Let's turn him into the guy we know now. He prefers not to get involved as much as he did in his youth. What I'm hearing is that his love was women until he discovered his true love. Punching. Did he, did he fight a vagina? <laughs> Got in a fight with a vagina, didn't go well. What the fuck? How do I do, how do I work? If, if bro, if my homie's not there. Excuse me. Do you need help? I'm the tour guide for Nyao Wu. I wasn't trying. Apologies for not, Nyao Wu's one. We've talked, we've talked every day. I'll. We talked every day, you don't have to introduce yourself. Oh, there he is, okay, thank God. Hi, Mr. Dudging. Hey, bud, you came at a good time. Wanna do some work? Hey, Solo Samurai. Has your day been pretty productive? Oh, great. Had some good meetings, got some stuff planned, some, like, some larger projects that, uh, I think the new timeline is end of June? Might be when some of this stuff starts popping up? But yeah. But the work is beginning. There's some other smaller projects that are popping up in the meantime, which now's a good time to plug it. March 20th for Drunk Eternal with mystery guests. Hey, Buffalo, what's up, man? Uh, where are the boxes? Am I unloading from the... Oh, I'm unloading from the boat, all right. And always the immersive camera. Yeah, exactly, Halo. Hope you're good. Yeah, I'm good. How about you, man? I'm, uh... Out here, out here grinding it out on Twitch, having the time of my life. Though I, 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 get, I found my way to, uh, found my way to uh, the forklift in Shenmue Three. So couldn't be happier. Absolutely couldn't be happier. Ah, subtle brick. Thank you for the resub. I'd love the forklift driving in one. You. Like most of the weird-ass minigames in Shenmue, you eventually learn to love it. I, uh, I really love darts. If for no other reason than the, um, the music was really nice, so... I'm hoping darts shows up again. I wonder if you can stack stuff on top of the ones that are not flat on top. Oh god, Joseph, don't joke about that. I would love to... I would love to be sponsored by Grey Goose. But yeah, oh yeah, there's gonna be another sellout stream coming up soon, so that's exciting. That's that's one of you know, that's not a big deal. Um I've been actually I've been playing the game that is being sponsored a lot. Like, a lot. Like I actually legit enjoy it, but I know everyone's gonna call bullshit once they see it, that I actually like it, so I'm not gonna say that when it happens. But you guys know now, early. I've been playing I've been playing it a lot, because I actually I actually really like it. Um Oh, yeah, Inisan isn't Ryo's mom. Um, uh, Go wait, and Goro's not his brother either. Or no, wait, what's his name? Fuksan. Yeah, <laughs> it's not Raid, believe it or not. Even though I still play Raid, I actually do. I'm gonna. I like. I usually play those games until I hit the wall. You know, you can kind of feel when the game is like, okay, the fun stops here. Uh, what do you like about it? Oh, the mystery game that I haven't streamed yet. It's um, it's just like really good gaming comfort food. 
It's just a really kind of basic action RPG, and sometimes that hits the spot. So, yeah, we'll see. Oh, God. Oh, Chobu, Chobu Chan Fighter. Yes. Hi, I always nick that corner. I gotta take that a little wider. I'm losing frames there. That's a 20 frame loss right there. You bonk that corner. 20 frame loss. Although I imagine, I imagine speed runs for Shenmue 3 would be boring as hell. Marvel Strike Force? I wish, man. I get Marvel money? Holy shit. And actually legitimately enjoyed that game too. Oh, look at that drop off. That was a sick drop off. It is Skyrim. You guys got it. Hundred percent glitch. No warp. Shenmue three. <laughs> Honkai Impact. I don't know why I'm thinking this by default, but that sounds like a porn game, which means I love it. It's Beat Mania. Oh man, if I could get sponsored by Beat Mania, holy shit! No, the only thing I'm waiting on Beat Mania now is for, oh. For whichever Chinese manufacturer I bought my controller from to ship it on over here. And then I can like spray the box down with antiseptic and put on surgical gloves and take it out. That's racist. I won't do that. No, put it. No, pick it up. No, can't. Won't? Alright, hold on. I'm gonna have to get a little fancy with this. Hey, look. I'm gonna say kick, Nick. Uh, you found the, uh, you found the forklift. As somebody used to drive a forklift for a job, this isn't really that far off. Yeah, unfortunately, apparently this game doesn't have the forklift races. In Shenmue 1, you'd get together with all your bros at the dock and you'd have a forklift race every morning. And it ruled. Guess you need an apology emote now? I do! So people can know, like... What I want to, where, where I want to get is for chat to assume when apologies are happening, even if I'm not actually making an apology, so that uh, they can just spam the emote for me, and then I won't have to do anything. Okay, now you'll go up for some reason. Weird. Boom. Perfect. Free Goose Crossbeat Mania. Get to Stepping Pack. Oh, God. You're describing my dreams. No, it's okay. My, what I, what I'm hoping to do... This is seriously what I've been waiting to do for a very long time. It's once I get my controller and I get, um, Infinitas spinning on the internet, then I'll basically do, like, weekend DJ sets where I just play Infinitas for Twitch. What I want to do eventually, too, is have some kind of, like, maybe semi-automated polling system where people can vote on the genre or the artist or the song they want next. Um, kind of make it like a, you know... Something you can either have on in the background or, you know, chill beats to study to kind of thing. Even though a lot of Beat Mania's beats are very much not chill. I can see that being fun. Hey, Chrono Dono. Welcome. Trying to scan copy of the official Prima Guide. Says it's about Rio. Rather stubborn and competitive to a fault. Tends to act impulsively rather than think through the situation logically. A good example of this is the fact that despite knowing how Nozomi uh, Harasaki feels about him, he hides his feelings and acts differently towards her. How is that impulsive? Oh, okay, that's him being logical? Okay. So his his logic logical ass is like, well, she's moving to Canada, so might as well not get involved. I always wondered if that was that was the implication of his character, that he's he's too devoted to avenging his father to get mixed up with girls. I guess we'll see. You ready for Eric Pride's heart attack shit for me? I don't I don't think Beat Mania has any Eric Prides in it, but that would be sick. Hey, yeah, he's too focused on revenge. Yeah. Echo, thank you yet again for the uh, the gift. 
I, uh, I very much appreciate your mission to, to gift a sub to everyone in chat that, is not get, that doesn't have one yet. He's a cuck for his dad's sake. Uh, is it possible to be more proud of your son that willingly cuckolds himself for you? Shouldn't they didn't finish the trilogy? It's not a trilogy. It's a saga. All right? And we're sp you can't speak like that yet. We don't know that it's not finished. No, Geralt, I've, I've never driven a forklift before. Hello, Justin Huang. Ah, Maybe I can get eight if I really, really hammer it. Mm. Stacking that paper, holy Great shit. Job, buddy. Yeah. This port is crazy, but you still met the quota. I'm gonna have to give you a little extra for this. Got it. Thanks. Didn't he? Damn! Come on back, you hear? Okay. I'll see you later. Can you not pick up two stacked at once? No? You never could in other Shenmue's. Maybe I'm assuming too much, but I don't think you can. I always thought it was a trilogy? No, Warm Fireplace. The, the, the Mius himself, Yu Suzuki, has specifically said it, it's more than three games. I think he said, like, he has enough story in his head for six. I'm pretty sure. Sorry, I'm just checking back here to see if any herbs grew. Rio lives a very exciting life. No? So there are herbs that grow in specific areas, and if you pick them, you can sell them in sets to the uh, apothecaries in town and make some money. When you need, you need money for certain plot events. Um, the biggest one was buying some old lush 50 year aged wine. It'll probably be a lot easier to make shim before since the engine and a lot of the assets already exist. That's true. You still have to find somebody to pay for it to be made, though. And I don't think there's going to be a lot of people like that. Uh, and is it Deep Silver, I think? Was it Deep Silver? The ones who published it? Their CEO was basically like, ouch. More or less got on an investor call and was like, god damn, ow. <laughs> that hurt. Was this game a success? No. Um, they, like... You usually hear, like, diplomatic doublespeak when executives are trying to talk about uh, failures or, like, um, financial, like, craters in their bottom line. Uh, I can't remember the dude's name, but the, um, the lead guy of Deep Silver was basically like, yeah, Shenmue just didn't... Shenmue, I think, I think he said something like, Shenmue is a game that has a strong cult following, but it is not a performer. Um, got funded so they didn't lose money. It did not get funded. They they ran a Kickstarter campaign that, that earned some money, but it was not nearly enough to actually make the game. That was mostly just to test public interest. Um, and then once they had that public interest, or once they raised enough money to for, I guess, Deep Silver to agree that that was a good, viable... Uh, I was a demonstrating factor that people out there actually wanted to pay money for this thing. Oh, ghost person. That's how it happens. Uh, then they, they published the rest of the game. But the majority of the money was not put up by individuals. It was put up by the publisher. Uh, wonder how much they got. Yeah, by Omega. Those, those, those amounts of money are typically never released publicly. Ever. Did you back Wonderful 101? No. Super Blast Decks. I typically don't back things. Um, Excuse me. in the past it was to maintain Welcome neutrality pharmacy, for games journalism. Shop. Whatever your ailment, which is less less meaningful now, but still, it's kind of why I try to do it. Do you have almond mushroom? Almond. Oh, Rednell, have a good day at work, man. Sorry, we don't have any here. I see. Do you need any other medicine? Damn. Whatever your ailment, I was we sure have the remedy. I was sure that was going to be. It. We also purchase herbs from collectors. I'll buy a set of herbs from you if you've got them. Yeah, she looks like me. You're right, and like the round haircut. Yeah. You were not as racist as I once thought. Yet. We shall see how racist you truly are. Come on back if you change your mind. I'm always in the market for good herbs. Well, damn it.
Did the longtime Shenmue fans like this? I don't know. I'm the only Shenmue fan I know. I think Alana started playing Shenmue 1. And she was... Uh, she sent me some text messages basically going, What the fuck is this? Um, so, given, her, given the fact that she likes Deadly Premonition, I could see her eventually vibing on Shenmue. Um, but, yeah, I, I honestly have never talked to another human being aside from me who likes this game. <laughs> Uh, Pringle, thank you for the cheer, man. These Yali's guys love it? Okay, that's true. Yeah, they... Aww, look at them. Aww. They could work on their sink a little bit, but... Yeah, that's a good point. I haven't really compared notes with any of them. It's not like, you know, we don't really talk all that often, but... Oh, well, Michael, Hu Michael Huber loves it? Okay. Yeah, I'd be curious to... I think it, they were streaming me. it a while ago. Ah, uh, enough already. I just said hi. Sorry to bother you. I sweep and sweep, but it's never enough. I mean, it is raining. See how big this place is? I clean it all myself. This lady is I see. pissed off. Fine, sure, if you need something. I just help out around here. Oh, sure. I think of spreading my wings and flying off somewhere, too. Um, thanks anyway. Liquid Choruses love watching you, but would never play myself? Yeah. I think Shenmue is one of those games. Hi. Hey, what's, how's it going, little kid? Um... It, it, yeah, Shenmue's... I get, I get Shenmue being that kind of game. Oh, it looks like he's just chilling out. Oh, these dudes! Just like leaning back and leaning like, Hey, how's it going? You wanna learn some martial arts? We got that here. Oh, this is where all the pros hang out. Alright guys, it's time. Horse dance, huh? Maybe I'll give it a shot. I'll go for a little bit of horse dance. This is nice. This gives me some time to uh, give me some time to interact with the chat. Oh, I thought you might be the top Shenmue streamer right now, but apparently you're the only Shenmue streamer right now. So it means I'm the top, baby. Number one. Any category I'm in, number one. Because I play games no one cares about. Hell yeah. They never updated his blocky body. I mean, they kind of, they did, Ghost McTavish. If you go back and look at what Ryo used to look like, they did, they bumped up the spec pretty significantly. At Funhouse, did you guys ever do a Mystery Science Theater 3000 Nights? Yeah, we would like, I remember, I think it was when Episode 7 was about to come out. We would, we watched through all the Star Wars movies together. Some of us drank. I drank. I remember doing... I was, that's when I was doing Insanity with Matt in the office after work. So we would start hopping around like idiots, doing burpees and stuff. And then one of the nights before we were going to watch episode two, I think, I was like, oh, I got to be drunk for this. So while we were doing like ab workouts, I was like tr drinking out of a tequila skull that somebody gave us. Um, which was a, a great, great evening. I remember that night Maybe very fondly. More. What's up, Jess? I'll save it for later. That's the per that's the perfect way. Also, yeah, but it was really cheap tequila and it burned like a motherfucker. So, doing like really intense uh, core workouts while drinking the raunchiest, shittiest booze. It's a good time though. You got to be calorie neutral, you know. Yeah, burpees and alcohol. It was not a good mix. I'll just throw that out there now. Whoa! There's gonna be so many herbs out here. Look at how enchanted this is, guys! It's like I'm really in China. Avenging my father. And the music stopped. Some of the music cues are a little off. A little rough. I see that though. I'm gonna pick that. I'm gonna pick the shit out of that. Shimmy 3 looks better now than it did in its Kickstarter trailer. I mean, is, is, shouldn't it? I think it should only get better, right? Can we get an alcohol-fueled workout video set? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm saving I'm saving booze for more special occasions these days, but uh, I do want to get back into doing Ring Fit on stream. I say back. I think I only did it twice, so I guess just do it in general. Maybe maybe Friday will be my my off day. Been hitting the gym pretty hard lately, I'm trying to get big. And Ring Fit's not going to make me big, but it'll be it'll be good for rest day, I think. 
know what the next Star Wars game will be. Oh, I'm glad you asked, actually. So I was going to play that right now, except it didn't show up. Except it did show up right before I started streaming. Um, and it is this. Oh, hold on. Let me switch to Apology Cam here. Let me pause so I don't miss any herb picking time. That may not actually pause the timer. Anyway, boom. Anakin Speedway. Um, ah. Disc is in there. That's good. Not too scratched. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, everyone has the innate desire to learn. Lucas Learning strives to nurture and strengthen this creative force during children's formative years by creating high-quality software products that engage them in meaningful exploration and discovery. Oh, this is just a this is just copy for Lucas Learning. This is not about Anakin Speedway at all. So this is also a game literally for babies, um, but I'll be streaming this soon because I, for some reason, have dedicated myself to playing through every. Star Wars prequel video game. So Warm Fireplace, I do have a CD drive. It actually wasn't plugged in. It was just in my case. But I had it there because I've been putting stickers on the front of my case. So they like went over the front panel of the CD drive. So I had to take an X-Acto blade and excavate out the tray. Plug it back in. And it actually works. It super works. Uh, that CD drive is at least... At least 10 years old. But it totally works. Yeah, Pit Droids was legit fun. I actually really enjoyed Pit Droids. This, I think, will probably not put up as much of a fight and also be finished far sooner. But still, you know. Um, I have been impressed typically with the uh, the effort put into a lot of those games. I don't, I don't think, like, Lucas probably didn't license... I mean, they licensed out Star Wars a lot when Episode 1 hit. But they didn't give it to just anybody. And most of the games have something about them that are, that are interesting. Usually it's the music, but yeah. No, sadly, my, my CD drive predates Kokopo by a pretty significant margin. Should get high and play Corrupted in 64 games? Ugh. Well, the problem is corrupting them. I don't know that you can successfully corrupt it in 64 game without being high. Um, or just do, like, whatever Vine Sauce does. I think it's Joel? Or is it Vinny that does the corruptions? I think it might be Vinny. I can't remember. Um, that was actually one of the first Funhouse videos I produced. Was jacking all of his uh, corruption settings in... Oh, it's Joel? Oh, never mind. Okay. Um, and doing some, uh, some gameplays. That was fun to get working. Yeah, it's just like Doom. Yeah, Intoxicated Puma, that's, that's what I like. And, and, I mean, to be frank, it's, it, you know, it doesn't have a huge audience on Twitch or anything like that. People just want to see, people want to see that Battle Royale or Escape from Tarkov or whatever, and that's fine. That doesn't bother me, but, uh, I really like... To me, the joy of discovery is so amazing in games. I say as I'm going around picking plants. Digital plants. Uh, but, like, just cracking open a game that... You would... Like, you... you In Anakin Speedway, I have literally no idea what's going to be in that. No idea at all. Um, some clue, but I haven't played like just a ton of, like, Lucas learning titles. And when games are kind of developed apart from the like AAA game ecosystem, they tend to do some really inventive things because they're just not thinking on the wavelength that most games have kind of uh, filed themselves into. So that's what's really fun for me is, is finding that that kind of spontaneous stuff. New to Twitch, so glad to see your face in new content. I've been out of, out of order binging Dude Soup on the way to work and at work and I realize that you're the glue for something of that magnitude. Jeez, <laughs> your weapon X. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Damn, that's, that's extremely complimentary. I think everybody wants to be called that at some point, but... Uh, yeah, I'm here now, um, and I will be doing stuff similar to that in the future. I mean, we have a podcast, too, if you're running short on podcasts. Oh, Dreams, yeah, I need to... So I have Dreams. Maybe that... Shh, more than ROM hacks or corruptions, dude. I'm, yeah, I, I'm, I should put that on the schedule. I want to just, like, just slam an edible and play Dreams on stream. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Creepiest, thanks for the Prime sub. Here comes that music again. Hitting you like a wrecking ball. Since Disney has recently been saying they want to license their properties out more for everyone, do you think their deal with EA will last? Of course it'll last. Oh, chopping wood. All right, I'm going to do that in a second. Let me check for herbs first. Oh. Um, no, they would have to pay a penalty if they canceled the contract early. Um, uh, and they wouldn't have agreed to it in the first place. When they agreed to it, like on the cusp of the new trilogy coming out, if it wasn't 100% in their interest. I think what's probably more concerning is that EA hasn't yanked the money that they need out of the deal. I don't think Disney's in any danger of canceling anything. They're getting their money. EA's the one who's not. So, 
if, if anyone, it'd be interesting to see if EA tries to renew it once the 10 years are up. They, it's pretty clear they were trying to apply the, the Madden formula to Star Wars. Um, is it ending soon? When, when was that signed? Yeah, probably not exclusively. I don't think EA can afford... Well, FIFA does earn a lot of money. But I think they found they couldn't just extract money out of the license the way they did with like FIFA and Madden. John Madden. I, 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 I love text-to-speech garbage so much. Oh, 2013? Okay, so we have some we have some time. And as much as you guys hate EA... It doesn't make much money. But Jedi Fallen Order was really goddamn good. It was really good. Jedi Fallen Order might have been better than all... Uh, I like Force Awakens a lot still. But Jedi Fallen Order was better than... Two out of the three of the new sequels. I guess that's kind of true of a lot of the video games for the prequels, too. Yeah. Just have more loot boxes? And they tried that. No. Well done. I, I like this. Whoops. Whoops. Hey, what? Whoa. This lady's senile. I do appreciate that she's like... Whoops. She really loses her mind when I hit it right, though. Whoa. Whoops. Respawn gets all my praise, not EA. They said yes to it, though. They didn't have to. And by all rights, they shouldn't have. That's it. Sick. That's hell, hell yeah, this music. Whoa. Well done. Whoa. Well done. There you go. Panama knockoff, I love it. That's it. Whoa. Whoops. Good one. Whoops. Whoa. Good one. All right. Uh, Connor, thank you for the resub. And on the second month, I have become an e boy. Please come back in one month and I will continue the story. Ooh. I think I missed your first month then, Connor. I'm sorry. I could fall for a man um. who chops like you. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Levin, right? The Final Fantasy VII demo was actually really... No. Uh, what's the word? Encouraging. Sure. Come by again. The mechanics are solid. I Now, like... Now, I think all the, all the juice is going to be in... With the boss fights. So, it's like... Making... There's a couple of problems now, but, like, no matter where it starts, it's already way above 7, mechanically. Um, but, like, how are they going to make all the trash fights leading in between bosses interesting? Unless they actually make them difficult, which they might. Which would be cool. Um, but for the boss fights, how do they adequately uh, communicate to you what the stagger mechanics are? Because I imagine they'll be different for every boss. In the demo, they had the characters just tell you. Like, hit it from behind. Hit it when it's staggered. Like, I don't know that they're going to do that the whole game, though. So I wonder how much of it is just going to be you sort of, sort of throwing it at, throwing whatever at the wall and seeing what sticks, which I'm also kind of okay with. That reminds me a lot of like, 13's fight mechanics and um, 12's. So, uh, Karma Crane, thank you for the sub. Very, very cash money of you. Um, and by that I mean you have put cash money into my my Twitch wallet. I appreciate it, and thank you for gifting a sub too. Also very cash money. Uh, hi. Hello there. You enjoying yourself? Actually, like body harvest? I... Yeah. Blossom Road is full of sights. Oh, I'm on Blossom Road right now. Souvenir shops and great restaurants. There's no need to hurry. Uh, yeah, I played that back in the day, Bur Boss. Uh, that was like sure. our Bur Base. That was one of the. As a uh... okay, this is Blossom Road. That was one of the games that. Uh... I kind of put my my hopes into to like be good. Check the shops on Blossom Road from Vendor Avenue. Okay, so I guess that's here or something. 
Stan Re. Oh my god, Fat Sloth, that's perfect. Oh, sorry. Asking about your donation. Uh, let me check that real quick. I apologize, sometimes I, uh... It's a separate uh, activity tracker I have to pull up and, and sometimes I just forget to. My apologies, and yes, that's a hot dono. Thank you for the thank you for the twenty bucks, man. Give Bruce some. Got to do the same for you, or Gabe Bruce some. Got to do the same for you. Best stream on Twitch. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for that. Echo Ignition. Thanks for gifting yet another sub. Uh oh. Oh no. The game just crashed. Ah oh, shit. Oh fuck. Fuck. I don't know what happens. I don't know how uh, Shenmue handles that. Ah, yeah, it's an F. That's a big F. It's okay, I found Blossom Rock. All those, all those herbs I picked. Damn. That's okay, it was worth it. It was worth it for Krispy Kreme's uh, donation. Uh, sorry, Jess, you were talking about Yakuza? Still, still picking through that series? That's a whoopsie. Oh, it is Deep Silver. Okay. It's not your fault at all. Yeah, I guess it's just going to be the last night that I saved. All that wood chopped? I can chop it. I can chop it again. Now, Red Moth, I'm gonna go for another, I'm gonna say 30 minutes or so? Yeah, because the five was so boring. Really? Aw. Yep, that's a whoopsie. Okay, well. I didn't do much. Picked herbs, chopped wood. I think that was about it. I guess I did talk to the, the pharmacist. That's fine. This won't take long to, to get back through. That's for, that's a bummer to hear about five. What was so boring about five? Well, I guess I'll get there eventually. I feel that your CS degree was useful. I mean, it was for the two or three years I was working in computer science, but... Eh, it was... the pr Hey, Cubs fan Dan, thank you for the resub. I was just thinking about... Assuming you are the same Cubs fan that changed... Maybe changed your name from a long time ago? Um... Hey, you! Oh yeah, I gotta. You need to pay. Don't. No. Get back to the. Uh, get back to the docks. Uh. Stack those boxes. Make that money. If I was just stinky. Okay. Well. Good morning. Morning. Uh. Yes. Good. Okay. You too. Forgot what I was gonna talk about. It's okay. It's not raining. It's weird. Oh, computer science. Yes, thank you. Ha! Thank you for reminding me. Hi, Um. Yeah, the the. This is gonna sound like a cop out, but the process of getting a degree was probably more important than actually getting the degree. So. The. Uh, just going through the coursework and. Here's the map. Learning how to do what I needed to do in each individual course to get my degree. And how to learn, like, relying on myself to pass all those courses and find, like, tutoring classes if I needed them. Figure out how to use the library if I needed it. Like, just learning self-reliance and being a self-starter and learning how to solve problems without guidance was invaluable. And I'm... It's possible that I could have learned that on the job. I probably would have. Or, um, you know... Would have gotten a cheaper and faster experience with like community college and on-site training or something like that, but yeah, learning how to learn, exactly my best toast. That's the thing that I can I can say in favor of it. Um, which was an expensive process to do that, but it gives it gives some structure when you're not quite ready to just completely go out into the workforce. All well, point is to prove you aren't a bitch. Yes, yeah, some of us have been there. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, I, I don't mean to seem like I'm lecturing people who already know what they're doing, but just kind of cataloging, cataloging how useful it was for me. It was also good to sort of, um, I'm regretting going to school, but that's just me. I have the luxury of not having a whole lot of regrets because I got a scholarship and I also worked through school. So I was largely self-sufficient. Um, my mom bailed me out with money a couple, twice, I think, over my college career. Because I, you know, part of being fresh in the world was that I also wasn't good at managing money, so... I remember blowing a little too much money at the arcade and 
having my checking account go into the negatives. So my parent, my parents spotted me a couple times to get me through, but I managed to graduate without a huge debt. So yeah. CS degree with the ability to write is the makings of a good malware analyst. Oh, I doubt you want to go to that now, huh? I mean, I'd probably make a lot more, but I, I at, at a certain point, I very much decided that I'd rather really be passionate about what I do instead of get paid a lot. I was basically like, I was making a good amount of money. Oh, Karma Crane, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the, the cheers. I was making a decent amount of money, um, in software dev. But what I found is that, like, I could not spend any amount of money in my off time to make me feel better about going into work. So, like, more money wasn't fixing the problem. And then I, I was like, I talked to my boss and I was just like, I just want to work less. I want to be at home more. I want to play more video games. I want to write about video games more. That's what I want to do. I mean, I didn't say all that because I, I was already nerdy enough. I didn't need to drop that on him. But it was basically like, I feel like I'm spending too much time at work. And I don't need a full-time, you know, revenue. I probably would have stayed at that job if they were chill with me working like 20-hour weeks, but they weren't, so. Still have about $5,000 to pay off. It's really slow, and I don't know if there's any growth in my job. Mm. Well, I might want well to start shopping around. That doesn't seem to be the, uh, the way that the American workforce works anymore. Getting promoted through one job. I don't know if you're in North America, but use the dollar sign, so or the US dollar sign. How are your parents and family with you doing Funhouse and now streaming? I mean, my dad doesn't seem to care all that much, really. Um, my mom is just happy that I'm successful in doing whatever, you know, like, my mom is the perfect mom. She just wants me to be happy and takes pride in me no matter what I do, you know? Hey, Alice, uh, Alice Sakwa, welcome. Yeah, we, we Shenmue, we Shenmue boys. Why don't you go up? I don't understand. Oh, I gotta jump somewhere, somewhere else. Graduated visual arts, gotta pay my own, pave my own way into the industry. Yeah, it's... I, I just went to a job fair when I was a senior. Dropped off some resumes, talked with some people. Uh, got... Got an, an interview. Like, before I graduated, and then had a, had a job offer waiting for me when I got out of college. Um, which was great, you know? No complaints. Go for the box. Oop. We have dollars as well. They aren't worth as much, but they're Canadian. Yeah. You got goofy names. B.S. Velasa, Velasa Blacko. My mom is one of the best people I know. I am very lucky to have some great women in my life. Stephanie and my mom, basically. <laughs> Dollar dues. It's better than Looney. Is that actually an official... So is that like a, a kind of half-cheeky dollar reduce? Because I've heard other people say that. Is that like real verbiage or is that kind of like self-effacing Canadian slang? Damn it. Okay. I wish to, Squid. I wish to. Getting in there for that hot pickup. get out of college pre-2008 housing crisis. Uh, yes, I graduated college in 06. So, basically the, the subprime mortgage crisis hit while I was in the software development sector. I don't think it had too much of an effect on what I was doing, but uh, yeah, I remember that. I do remember everyone at the time, all the, all the students being like, oh, or recent graduates really fretting about it. I was, uh, I think I was tutoring at the time. Um, earned some side money. That was when I was, I had, in 2008, let's see here. No, I was still doing, uh, I was still doing software development by contract. So, 
I was a sole proprietor and billed by the hour, which means I could scale my scale my work hours, which was great. At our job here, I got an interview with a lady at an architectural firm where she gave me an internship that paid me $5 an hour. Learned a lot and don't regret it, but it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... I wouldn't necessarily see the need or argue for... Uh, unpaid internships in job roles that don't have a lot of competition. But when there is a lot of competition for a job, I feel like that's just the free market. Like, But it is good that I think it's kind of been a thing I feel like in recent years that people have gotten more upset about free internships. It is kind of a fucked system. Um... I hate how expensive college books are. Yeah. And they're getting smarter, too, about making it so you have to buy them with, like, online codes and shit. Online courses that you have to, like, log in with a special activation code to, to be able to get to. It's a... It is a scam. It's a fucking scam. God bless America, man. It turns out when you create a system that requires people to use a service and then you privatize that service, people are gonna go ape shit with gouging money out of people. Drop the box, Rio! Right, right. Damn it. Yeah. Great job, buddy. This Please drink verification reason, can. Exactly. You still met the quota. Your Twitch quota has been expired. For this. Pop another top, please, gamer. Come on back, you hear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, wrecked. Too many bonks. Ain't that the way? Ain't that the way? All right. I think I'll retrace my steps. That involved a lot of picking weeds, and it's literally saying we'll pay you an exposure. Yeah. I mean, well, it depends. If you're like doing an internship for a corporation, then I guess I guess you're getting exposed to like coworkers and and managers and stuff. But uh, man. Money was the first thing I acted about. The first, first thing I asked, asked about, because I could be making enough to live alone in a factory in that time. You want to live alone in a factory? Actually, that sounds pretty cool. Oh, exposure and experience. Yeah. Yep. It's a scam. Don't ever work for free. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chip, I'm gonna chip a little idea in there. If the work you want to do has a ton of competition, you might have to. And if you refuse to work for free, then you just may never work. And if you're okay with that, if you have those standards, then fine. But for me, like, the way I kind of got to where I was going was games writing, games journalism, blogging and stuff. Um, there's no way in hell, no way in hell, I would have ever gotten any kind of paid job doing that without, you know, Years of provable experience, links I could I could send people. Um, it just would not happen. And I, I could sit there and be like, no, I refuse to do this unless I get paid for it. But if, frankly, if your writing's not any good and it has no value, you're never going to get paid for it anyway. So part of doing it for free is you cultivate the skill to actually then ask for money for it. So. Uh, I do think for like... Sorry, we don't have... Yeah, yeah. this, this is just to check it off in the... Out? So, I don't know. I Come back. I agree firmly that if there's a job that society demands, that is in demand, you should absolutely never do it for free. But if you want to do something like... I mean, you're going to you're gonna go into like every streamer who has zero views on Twitch and tell them to stop? Because that's essentially what they're doing, right? Every one and zero view streamer. Go b bust in their stream and tell them they're working for free. And see how see how far that goes. Save Shenmue. I'm trying. I'm trying. Try my best. Uh, hi. Hello there. Oh yeah, this you enjoying yourself? Stan Ree again. Actually, I. Blossom Road. Journalism is a tough field to get paid, especially for the internship. I got the same experience. Yeah. There's no need. Cause a million people want to do it, and there's not that much money in it. Uh, sure. So, if you want to actually carve off some of the small amount of money that's up for grabs. You have to distinguish yourself. And how are you going to do that? 
You know, how is a, how is a hiring person going to look at you and see that, oh, this person is clearly different than the other 20 people with no experience that just applied? Oh, never worked for free for big corporations, but I guess Twitch is a big corporation. I don't know. Yeah, no, Dr. Falas, I, I want to make it, I want to hopefully make it clear that I'm not telling people to, like, work for free. But I do think that the reality of certain circumstances, specifically when you're trying to get work in a very crowded field, I think it's, I think it's a little naive and, and to some degree a little, a little like armchair quarterbacky to insist that other people never do that thing. I've seen some, some writers and stuff be like, rah, pro unions, don't intern for free. And I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you did though. I'm pretty sure you had to, because there's no other way to get into this system. How did you do it? You're just going to tell other people to like be principled and, and all that stuff? I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. Suck it up and pay dues. It, mm, yeah. Yes and no. Um, I, I do think it just, it just, you know, it's, I think it's a more nuanced situation than just never do it. Because I did it. Um, and I can't think of anyone that has any... Uh, yeah, so Trey, you're absolutely right about that. If you if you have a computer science if you're a computer science major, you can find paid work. You should find paid work. And if if a company tries to tell you, hey, you got to do this for free, tell them to fuck off. Like <laughs> you're already what, eighty grand in debt for your goddamn degree? No, this is gonna start earning money. I did two free internships. Eventually got in, got to my field, but that was also in the post housing crisis. Oof. So yeah, I mean, I I think. Uh, I think circumstances matter. What do people think of Rio? I bet, I bet Rio would do this for free. Uh, it's all about the connections. I've got a few ways in. I'm just taking all risks to get there. Ooh. Well, best of luck. Yeah. Raven say you're you're right about that. It's capital. It's capitalism. But then again, what's the alternative? Ah, I I don't want to go into like. Uh, but you live in a society curious type shit. Um, I think it's fine to point out the ways that like this, the economic system we're in could be improved. But I also think like I don't know. Again, I guess I guess I just have the ghosts of pe very loud people on on Twitter in my heads. But uh, sometimes I want to be like, okay, well, you, what's your what's your solution then? Uh, did have a different kind of problem that everyone did. Uh, fast track for a manager, finished all the qualifications, making a lot of money and working a lot. I had a really nice apartment, a good car, then I became disabled and had to move in with my parents and on disability benefits and sell my car. And suddenly that vacuum of income was a huge and a huge reduction in wealth. I'm really sorry to hear that warranty. Damn. Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I should also qualify. All of, all of my kind of meaningless meandering uh, rambling is all coming from the perspective of an able-bodied, able-minded worker. Which is also not the uh, the luxury that a lot of people have. What's up, Zach? I'm just talking about seizing the means of production while I'm picking all these weeds in Shenmu. I am saying we live in a world. I'm saying we live in a society. That's the second time today I've seen I've said that. Only only partially ironically. <laughs> it's funny every time. Yeah, USSR anthem here, right? Oh man, political activism on the internet is is wild shit. Uh, I kind of love it. I kind of love it. It's like it's all the vigor and anger of just like edgy dudes hanging out at that one table in the cafeteria, dropping all their deep thoughts, but all through memes. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. I couldn't love it more. More like slacktivism. Yeah, I mean, that's always been a thing. That's always been a thing. Always. But you're right. That is the word for it, isn't it? Can't really relate to being able-bodied. Hopefully I can make a living working from home. Well, it's becoming more and more able. Or it's becoming more and more likely. Uh, those, those opportunities. I feel like they're only becoming more and more prevalent. Um, I remember, I mean, even back when I was entering the workforce, I guess, at large... It was it was possible for people to telecommute. No one wanted it though. But that's starting that's starting to change, I think. I do believe that some people need an office environment to stay productive, though. Um, it is rare the kind of person that has a either a work ethic or a regimen where they can be rigid like 
super productive everywhere. Brash Candicute, will I beat you up? Yes, I absolutely will. Okay, it's five years ago. Things are much more stable now. I'm good gamers. Just saying that I'm kind of glad I didn't. Find, I can't find a job in a weird way. <laughs> yeah, this has got different kinds of problems. Chopping firewood, huh? It doesn't make much money, but there's value in hard work. I was thinking about doing a Patreon and putting up Can drawing and music up on there, but I'm too man. average. Well, maybe you are now. But you know what? You keep grinding away at it. You're gonna get better. You have to get better. Oh no. I gotta retrace my steps. I don't wanna like well done. accidentally kill the dinosaurs and some butterfly effect effect That's bullshit. It. Yes, we're back. We're almost back. There you go. The hype mama's back. <laughs> well done. Spouse is disabled in some way, but I'm Reading for him since he's clearly gotten a private investigator training course. That's awesome! Good one. Although, I don't know. Well, I'm excited for... I'm excited for him because well, being a PI sounds like the coolest thing in the world. I'm actually... You need to check back in. Well done. After your spouse cracks some cases. Whoa. I'm excited to hear from an actual working PI Whoops. how boring it probably is. If there's one thing I've learned about life is that most things that seem exciting are actually not. But there you go. Also, that's true. Hey, Lady Dead has a good point. You might think you're average, but other people will think your work is amazing. That's true. And uh, another factor is like you'll never you'll never improve without people's feedback, which you may not even get to start. Um, and then. I'll blow your mind a little bit more. If you're a working artist, then part of your job is getting people to, to notice what you're making. So that's another thing that you can work on. How do you grab people's attention? And then what do you have it? What do you do with it? Those, those are all parts of it, you know? It's so easy to see the finish line of just like uh, an artist that everyone pays attention to and loves how interesting their stuff is. I guarantee you they never started that way. But you don't know that because you weren't looking. The whole bundle. Thank you, young man. I sure did. That granny is feeling it. She's getting real juicy. I was just stealing that no, from, yeah. I'm good. A lot of moist in chat. Sure? Come by again when you feel like Knives Out is an honorary Agatha Christie film? It is. It absolutely is. And it also takes the honors of being the first uh, Ryan Johnson movie I didn't want to jump out of my skin by the ending. So, I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. Kind of hoping that, uh... Is it Mr. Blanc returns in other films? I mean, that's that's how murder anthologies always are, right? All right, we did it. We caught up to the present. Live, die, repeat. Shenmue three. So hopefully there's a medicine store down here so I can get the mushroom for the old man. Thank you so much. The stream with some chill Shenmue in the background. Thank you. Well, thank you, Vivid Knights. Appreciate your cheers. Some cozy ass rain, though. Mm. Mm. I was hoping there'd be another. So, wait, this is Blossom Road? There's not any medicine stores on Blossom Road. Check the shops on Blossom Road from Vendor Avenue. Maybe Blossom Road's longer than it looks. Are you looking to buy something? Have a look around if you've got the time. Hmm, okay. You can buy a spear? Why? You can't use it. Oh man, there's a lot of a lot of moves in here. Holy shit, this is all so expensive! Ah. I'm gonna be moving a lot of boxes at Come the on. docks. And afford all this. Yeesh. That's a yikes. I've hit it all tonight. Yeah, forklifts, moist meters, slacktivism, internships, and weird ass phone calls from your not girlfriend. Uh, I don't wanna. I wanna buff my fingernails on my shirt and say that's pretty typical for a Lawrence stream. It tends to tends to go some places. Hey, what you got here? This was some kind of restaurant. <laughs> 
I think that might be my favorite. <laughs> now, there's always a topic we regret. Or three. Pretty much all of them. Hey, what's up, Yummy? Yummy 107? You sound like a radio station. A really good one. I like how they don't have the animation of him grabbing the orange, because I feel like the orange is not tall enough. And they couldn't have him do this, so they like when they had him wrap his hand around it, it was only sitting like low in his low in his palm. Ugh. So it just fades out and fades back in. They should have shouldn't have been cowards, see like that, but even lower. Or maybe it was too big and his hand clipped through it too much. Hey, what's up, Hannah? Welcome back. Oh, there's a good fishing spot over here. I'll lock that away in the old the old vault. Little shimmy, shimmy noggin. You gonna be on a radio show next Tuesday? Holy shit, awesome. Hey, Steph. You look pleased. No? Oh, you're tired. That's what that look is. Ah, yes. Yeah, that's fun, isn't it? How long did it take? I am so pleased. This is... I'm so proud of you. I can see it. I can see your 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 bestial primal form radiating out from within. I can see you sprinting across the plains. Tackle a gazelle. Stab it in the neck. You're, you're an apex hunter, Steph. Steph's been going to the gym. Well, specifically, going back to CrossFit. Yeah. Which is... Steph uh, doesn't do anything in half steps, which, when it comes to the gym, maybe you should take hey, a half hey, step hey, here hey. now. I was doing CrossFit for a long time. That's... Well, yeah, but you were... But well, how long has it been? <laughs> I think over a year? Over two years? We were... We were living at our last place when you last did it. Yeah. So, you know... Okay. But still doesn't mean that I'm not tired. Yeah, <laughs> no, you're allowed to be tired. Yes. Absolutely. Once you get your legs moving, don't let them stop until you're done. Whenever I'm really sore, I like and I have to use the restroom, I'm like, oh no. Oh no 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 no. Yeah. Like, hand on the armrest. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Just gotta rock yourself forward on your legs so your weight kind of sits there for a second. You gotta think? Yeah. You gotta plan the next thing. You gotta get prepared. Yeah, you gotta, like, you gotta tense everything up. And so you're like, alright, we're ready now. Do it. Uh, we're doing this. Delightful. Yeah, Dr. Velas, get in the gym. Everyone go to the gym. We all need to work out and get buff. There she is. She had to bend over. Yeah, Doom Slayer was murder sexual. But only for demons. That seems that seems fair to me. It seems accurate. That's how I get out of the chair every day. <laughs> the fatty grunt. Started working at Raceland and it's great. Hey, congratulations, Jess. Oh, starting laundry. That's a pretty bend over intensive activity stuff. <laughs> Dr. Levin, you're describing H Doom, which I have shockingly haven't played. Oh, okay. I guess these are pictures of all the backers. Superimposed over uh, Shenmue 3 settings. A memorable trip photo. Aww. Traveling alone. Looks good. It's a nice color. This reminds me of Yokosuka. Dobuita? This is cool. Oh. Uh -huh. This is. Hmm. He's staring right at the camera. It's a photo, Ryo. That's what happens. Good taste. They look close. This is... They look happy. He's actually shockingly act... That's a good posture. 
No weak points. I was going to call out his accuracy in actually picking out the pictures that had two subjects, but... <laughs> He's got the eye for Kung Fu. This is cool. This is cool. Whoa! Oh my god, it's Yu Suzuki! Oh! That's so cute! Fuck! Ah! Oh. Awesome! Holy shit, this is really, really cute. All the forklifts. People love shit now. I gotta give the wheel a spin. You know I gotta give that wheel a spin. I'm gonna give it the super slam! A teddy bear? Teddy bear 2? Is that like the super uppercut 2 or whatever I got? I'll come back later. This is where you use the tickets. Ah, okay. Ooh. Question mark capsules? <gasps> They're sitting together? Uh, what? Can you get capsule toys of like. Can you get capsule toys of Kickstarter backers? A game can't hurt. What is this place in the context of the canon? I don't know. I feel like... Ryo should... It's amazing that he doesn't react that there's an entire shrine built just to him. Oh my gosh. This one is interesting. That's wonderful. You can, you can get capsule toys of backers. And also, Joy does not look like that. Even a little bit. Looks like they're used to traveling. What could this be? I don't know, Ryo. This... This is... This is relaxing. This is... I see. Was that... Is that Min Liang Tong, the like CEO of Razor? This is cool. He's staring right at the camera. Oh, this is. That's a nice smile. There must have been a meetup with Yu Suzuki or something. I'm pretty sure that's who that is. Text. I wonder if traveling alone. Very interesting. What country could these? Be? That's a good posture. David is points. I mean, he's kind of right. That is. Well, his, his his fist is a little too high. It's supposed to be your hip, but that's a good photo. They look happy. Solid photo. Definitely developers. Oh, maybe. I wonder if traveling alone. I wonder if traveling alone. That's a nice smile. That is a nice smile. They look happy. Aw. Why is wait? Why is the kid standing? It. Why is he like grabbing him with his arm down like? That's a confusing photo. I wonder what he's looking at. Is he eating a hot dog? Very interesting. It's like a... I'm gonna choose to believe this is like a dating pro... Or a dating... Dating site. Echo Ignition, thank you for the... Thank you for gifting another sub. Hmm. This person looks familiar. A memorable trip photo. He's staring right at the camera. Oh, that's 3D! How do you do, sir? Good taste. Jack Chen! Holy shit! This guy rules! found the coolest dude here. See. Was this self-taken? <laughs> That's a good posture. No weak points. I wonder if he lifts weights. This is cool. Sure is. This is cool. It's cool. That's what it is. I'm gonna look at all of these. Where is this? 1897. What? This one is interesting. Hmm. <laughs> He's staring right at the camera. Good taste. A memorable trip photo. That's a nice smile. Oh, that's cute. Does name was like this self-taken? This is. Was this self-taken? <laughs> Quick, think of something that. Think of something that means a lot to me. Ah, beer. This is. Wait, Asmongold? That was him. This is relaxing. Hmm. This person looks familiar. 
What could this be? Nice. That's a good posture. No weak points. Three, baby. I wonder if he lifts weights. Yeah, he looks like it. They look close. I wonder if traveling alone. Very interesting. Nice. <laughs> I see. Good taste. Paul George Sheffield. A man enjoys his tea. That's a nice smile. Not as nice as the last one, but it's pretty good. This person looks familiar. This one is interesting. They look close. I wonder if he lifts weights. I wonder if traveling. This is relaxing. Aww, aww. Kanan Shinpachi? Aww. What a nice couple. A memorable trip photo. You got a tomato store shirt! This is. What? How do I get that? He's staring right at the camera. Also creepy. Was this self taken? That looks a little bit like. Like if that showed up in your DMs, you'd be like, ah! Oh, it's. It's actually not bad, but boy, does it look like it. This is cool. My cognition, thanks for gifting another sub. Jesus, man. I'm, uh, I'm very glad you got your tax return. This person looks familiar. This is... I wonder what he's looking at. Some of these are, like, eerily accurate. I don't know. I feel like maybe they, they told the people taking the photos to, like, take... Photos of a particular kind, like strike a martial arts pose, look at the camera, something like that, so that this is cool. They could match it to his. I wonder if he lifts weight. His vocal stabs. I see. That's a nice smile. That is a nice, you know what? Nice smile. I like the people who put on a nice little, nice little suit. Mm, pug. They look happy. They do look well, happy. Hmm. I, I guess. Was this very interesting? Ah. Was this? He drew the little bandaid on his face. A memorable trip photo. I'll always remember that water. I wonder if traveling alone. Good taste. They look close. Huh? That's a good posture. No weak points. He's right. Dude, a dude... A dude pulling the double finger guns is actually nature's strongest shape. That's a... If you, if you really look at it, that's the shape of the pyramids right there. It's the two finger guns leaning on their sides. Yeah, no weak points. It's like an egg. You can, when a dude's double finger gunning, you can actually stand on his hands. That's how powerful it is. Well, I'm glad I came in here. I guess I gotta come back later to spend all the rest of my tickets. Yeah, the perfect defense. <laughs> the Ponzi stance, yeah! A pyramid is nature's strongest shape. Oh, those kids are having a good time. Kids love coming to the safe Shenmue building and hopping around in the flowers. Uh... If this is New Blossom, or if this is Blossom Road, there's nothing here. Unless I just totally missed it. I'll go look again. So, what'll it be? <laughs> oh! It's the two brothers! Two brothers. <laughs> Gotta love that dude's voice so much. Blossom Road and Hua Shao Temple are Niao Wu treasures, <laughs> and you can get their souvenirs right here. Uh, Echo Edition, thank you for gifting another sub. Right neighborly of you. Yeah. I'm really hiccupy today, and I don't know why. Niao Niu. Exactly, Squid. Actually, Ryo has has the demeanor of a cult leader. I agree with this. Is there really not a... They really made it seem like there should be a, uh, a medicine store over here. I don't know, maybe Blossom Road goes somewhere else that I just don't know about. Maybe you've got it. No. Pardon me. What can I do for you? Excuse me. Are you looking for a gift or for yourself? I've got a nice selection. I see. Don't think too hard about it. Got a legendary achievement for Halo CE that only 
3% have gotten? I can't try them <laughs> Which one is that? Seriously. Curious. I'll, uh, <coughs> mind. Is that the one for, like, sticking somebody and killing two people after death or something? One of the most random and luck-based. Unless you boost it. Also, congrats, Solo. We, uh, we respect... Not respect. We respect... That kid's head is way too big. Got a head of like a 30 year old man. Look at, his, look at his expression, too. This kid's got a pack a day habit and an ex wife. Holy shit. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> the only cult with no orgies? <laughs> Rio's sexless cult? Where all they do is do horse squat all day? Storm the cartography beach with no marine casualties? Oh my gosh, yeah, I never got that one. Did you. Were you actually trying for it? Or did it just accidentally pop? Oh, I don't think I checked the herb store actually. Welcome to Tough Guy Herbs. Oh yeah, those days grinding 100 percent in Halo 3 and Halo Reach achievements. Almond mushroom? We do. Booyah! We only have one though. I'll take it! It's 50 yuan. Will you be perfect? Got it by accident? Nice. Yep. That's that's classic Halo right there. Somebody else has been trying every night for the last six months to get that achievement, and you just got it. We also buy medicinal herbs. Actually, yeah, I can probably get rid of some herbs. If you have a set of herbs on you, we'll take them off your hands. Can imagine 100 percenting Master Chief Collection. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. Oh my gosh, I have oh, I got them all. I got everything. Oh my gosh, I have multiples of these. I am so rich, you guys. Oh. I'll never have to work at the docks again. I will. Because I like it. Oh, now these will make some potent medicine. If you come across more of this stuff, hurry on back. I think Steph's breaking stuff now. She's... I got the almond mushroom. She's doing the dishes. I should bring it to Ren. Steph, you don't have to do the dishes. I can take care of that when I'm done streaming. You're sore. You don't have to do that stuff. You gonna post your streaming schedule? I already did. Um, it's in a public Google Calendar. If you use the schedule command, it'll link it to you. Or you can type in uh, the short URL bit.ly slash law stream. That's uh, the schedule I'm trying to keep. Definitely trying to... Maybe that command doesn't work. Never mind. Uh, uh, there is a command for it, but I forgot what it's called. Actually, let me let me look it up. Maybe I did make a command for it. If you, also, if you scroll to the info section, um, it's down there too. There's a link to it, or just type it in bitly slash lawstream. Um, Oh, I don't have it. Why don't I have it? All right, yeah, I'll add a, uh, I'll add a schedule command. But yeah, thank you, Zach. Ooh, Jazzy. Ooh, she's cute. I like Thanks her hat. Hello there. Want to try my ice cream? Is he? Sorry, but I don't have time to chat right now. <laughs> Are you blushing? I like young men like you. Maybe I can give you a little bit extra? Uh, okay. Oh boy. Yet again, Rio has no idea what to do. Echo Ignition, thank you for... Oh, thank you for giving us up to Ty Dan. He's been around the stream for a while, so... Thank you. Yes, the raw sexual tension. Uh, also, you've now gifted 69 subs, which is an absurd amount of money, but also nice 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 nice, 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 nice. Hell yeah. What a what a glorious night in Shenmue. I was able to buy my mushroom. I was uh I can't remember where the where else I was going. I uh I was able to drive the forklift. Um Really nothing nothing has gone wrong today. Did Ryo just freeze? Maybe? I hope not, but maybe. 
No, see Ben. No, don't tell him that. Don't stop gifting subs, but maybe make another account and keep gifting subs. Daddy knows how it's how his bread gets buttered, all right? I'm not gonna tell people to stop gifting subs in this chat. I think it was. Oh yeah, it was over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Sparta. Okay, good. I'm glad we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> I gotta eat my- I gotta bolt on my apples. Oh, 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 oh. oh, when did they get a roll cake? Hmm. A reasonable set of roll cakes? Four somehow seems more delicious than one. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Let me go back and have a nostalgic phone call. Oh, you know, it's only five o'clock, which means Rio's got about an hour before his internal computation matrix shuts down and he falls asleep where he stands. Some fucking high def mud squish going on here. I eat apple cores when I eat the apples. Yeah, Squid, some people early in life, or at some point in life, decided they were going to be an apple core eating kind of person. I've not become that person yet, but, uh. Hmm. What's this? Oh, whoa? A pair of red snakes. Could they have brought Mr. Yen here? I should go talk to someone at that shrine. I see Snake. I talked to somebody. Hello. Um. Um. Is it okay to eat apple cores? Why not? Yeah, some people eat the core. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Eleven. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Oh, you gotta have apples sliced? Yeah, sometimes it's rough when you get some like apple fiber or like a sliver of skin stuck in between your teeth. If you bite an apple at the perfect angle, that shit will go right up there and stick. And it drives me crazy. I can't, I can't stand having things between my teeth. I think most people are probably like that. Apple cores are toxic by definition, but you have to eat like 6,000 of them. Uh, no, that's kind of true of everything, right? Like bananas, everything. Turns out if you eat 6,000 of anything, it's not too good for you. Unless it's ass. You eat 6,000 ass, then you're a, you're a god. It's actually the only way to achieve nirvana. The Prince Siddhartha sat under that tree. <laughs> oh god, give it. I'm sorry if you're Buddhist, but it, this is actually true. Uh, Prince Siddhartha, <laughs> he sat under the, the, the Buddha tree. He ate his 6,000th six, ass, and then he started levitating, floating, and glowing. My children, I have, I have tasted enough ass to see nirvana. And then he transcended. Hercules ate 12,000 apples? Ah, oh, that's why he's a demigod. <laughs> that's the actual prophecy, yeah. One day, a man will eat so much ass that he will transcend humanity. <laughs> oh, they have arsenic in them. Interesting. Interesting. So if you were to like grind up apple cores and, and like hype, like keep concentrating it, you could actually make your own. I guess 6,000 apples is a lot, actually. There's probably, there's probably faster and more cost-effective ways of producing arsenic. Oh, you thought that's what happens during No Nut November? It's just ass-eating November? <sighs> Fellas. If you legitimately try to participate in No Nut November, are you also strong enough to do stuff for your partner? I feel like that's that's the true measure of a man. If he can go a month without nutting but still rub his, his girl off or jack his boy off or whatever whatever happens. If you can if you can perform a giving service and still not nut. I'm selfish. At least at least you admit it, that's good. <laughs> Carmen says, yes, I'm a fucking hero. All right, you're it. You're the, uh, it turns it Duck Heaven. All right, we're going to Duck Heaven. Everyone shut up. We're going to Duck Heaven. Uh, yeah, that's actually really impressive. Uh, damn. It's actually Duck Heaven. What's happening? I want to look around for herbs, but... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why would I ever need to go outside when a game like Shenmue can show me the way to duck heaven? Oh! I love you all, my sweet ducks. You're my favorite. 
Wait a minute, now you're my favorite. You are Stanley. Wait, you're my favorite. You are Edwina. Like Edwin, but a girl. That's you. Where are you going? You don't like your name? Why is this here? Why am I in Duck Heaven? Why is Rio wearing a gold lame lounge suit in Duck Heaven? All right. Okay. Do you eat 6,000 duck asses to get into duck heaven? Yes, but it's actually harder since ducks don't have as long of a lifetime. It's always 6,000, but the measure of whether or not God wants you to be in heaven or not is how long your lifespan is. So, like, like rats and, like, mosquitoes probably will never get into heaven, ever. But, uh, people have a pretty decent shot if you really work towards it. Like, whales, alligators, tur tortoises. They got all the time in the world to eat all those asses. I hand-fed some ducks in an aquarium a few weeks ago and it was the greatest thing ever. Uh, it feels so good. When their stupid little beaks are, like, bonking at your hand. I, I love the fact that, like... Humans get more freaked out by contact with animals than animals do. Animals don't give a fuck. They're just there for the food. Like, fuck yeah, give me those pellets. Give me those pellets, girl. And they're in there, man. They are in it. And you're like, ah, it feels weird. And they're just getting fed, man. They're just getting theirs. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love Duck Heaven. I never want to leave. Rio's going to make me, though, at some point. Ugh. Oh, well, yeah, I know Raven's say most uh, most males in the animal kingdom are not the most civil. Uh oh, Whoa, okay, are not the most civilized. Oh, you fed capybaras! Oh, I'm so jealous! Damn, I love capybaras. Legitimately, capybaras are always just fucking chilling, and I love them for that. What are I don't know anything about, like... I mean, capybaras just seem like they're vibing all the time. But I don't know actually what their demeanor is like. Are they just super chill? Hey, what's up, Keanu Silverhand? I am doing very well. Getting a little hungry, though. Yeah, it's almost 10. I'm not going to be streaming for too much longer. I'll just finish out today. Yank all these bad boys out of the ground. They're just big rats. And they love swimming. Perfect. 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 Can, are they, like, domesticated? I mean, rats can be trained, right? So... Yeah, capybaras in hot springs. Capybaras with, like, birds sitting on their heads and they don't give a shit. They're really good adoptive mothers. Jesus. The camera tends to stick sometimes. You know what? Actually, this is fine. Oh, okay. Oh, quokkas? Uh, I want to meet those, too. All the photos with quokkas look too good to be true. They're just cheesing for the camera real hard. It's so good. Capybaras were considered fish, so Spaniards were able to eat them during Lent. And yet, and religion is divine. <laughs> hey dude, I'm always drinking. Love the stream. Like always. Well, Super Blast X, you might want to... You might want to take a day off one of these times. Oh, Quacus have zero predators? Oh, okay. That's always great. When, like... When creatures never have to deal with predators so they never develop a fear response. Oh, sorry. I did add the always. You're right, Super Blast X. <laughs> You're drinking. Alright. Maybe not always. That's good. We ain't got no problem then. <laughs> I misread yet. <yeah. laughs> I implied that myself. Yeah, it's like... That doesn't even make sense. You've been in chat millions of times not drinking. Yeah. Quokkas are really cute. I, uh, I still want to hang out with a capybara, though. I think I could be, become best friends with a capybara very quickly. Which is to say, I would sit next to him, and then I would believe that we were best friends. Because I'm pretty good at just sitting in a body of water and just... Just vibing. I'm pretty good at that. Actually, I take that back, I'm not. I would probably get really antsy after a while. So the capybara would be there max chillaxing, and I'd start fidgeting and, like, going for my phone... I want my switch. Oh, they're soft. Aww. 
they always kind of looked a little wiry in photos, but... Why are we picking all these herbs and plants? Uh, you can sell sets of herbs for a good amount of money. And part of Shenmue is just making sure you farm up enough money for whatever you need. So you have to pay for your hotel room. And if you can't, then you have to go chop wood. Which, whatever, is fine. Ooh, a dim sum place. Damn, I could go for some dim sum right now. I wonder if I could postmate some dim sum. No, I already, I already bought food once today. Excuse me. I can't get in the habit of that. I'll be right with you. Um... How about you help me now? Please. Oh, okay. Do you have any seating preferences? Not really. I think this track is from another Shenmue game. But it's reorchestrated? This sounds familiar. Excuse me. Hello. If you want to win some, you gotta dim some. <laughs> um... Please, sit wherever you'd like. I'll bring you a menu. Thanks, but I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that was... <laughs> Dragon Jetpack, that was a, a pretty... <laughs> bomb-ass joke, for sure. Saucer's set. Wow. Mom! Mom! Mom, get your purse! They have saucers in the capsule machine! No squid. The lights in this restaurant are too bright. Could we dim some? Oh, yeah. I can't just harass random patrons. Lame. I am so glad they swung for that one. Uh, Pupper's been taken out for peas and poos. Good night, Papa Law. Good night, chat. Well, good night, Joseph. Good to have you in chat, man. Have a good night. Uh, was it the Duck House? Who were they? No, it must have been this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. well, hold on. Let me go check out the Duck House. I think if I hit nine o'clock, Rio demands to go home instantly. Excuse me. Welcome to the Peking Duck House. Thank you for coming. Um. How about some Peking duck? I promise it's delicious. Oh, this is making me uh, hungry. Sure. This place is pretty posh, though, huh? Oh, imagine eating on a deck like this. Oh, this is sick. So, what, like, there's a lot of empty tables that have a lot of steaming food around them. Is this all for you? Having quite an appetite, don't you, Granny? Just making the rounds. I sit at this table, I eat everything. I sit at the next table, I eat everything. Yeah, Casa Tree, I was wondering about that too. Is it Peking Duck, not Pecking Duck? I don't know, this game can be a little uh, inconsistent with its own pronunciations of things, even internally, so I don't know that I'd go rewriting your, your knowledge just yet. Then again, man, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about anything. I know Shenmue, that's it. Did they wreck this place too? I pronounce it Pecking Duck? Yeah. I kind of- I do too. Are they trying to find the mirror? I on the suit Rio's wearing, I'd never take it off. Well, Rio doesn't, so I feel a QTE coming on. Hold on. How dare you come again? Take this! You thug! You got the wrong guy. Lies! I know you're with the red snakes! Red snakes? Hold on. I'm looking for those guys. By the shrine, yeah. What? Another woman to inexplicably throw herself at Rio for him to stare blankly at her and then cough. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Another entry in Rio's asexual harem. Rio just leaves a legacy of thirsty girls in his wake. into Leo Zhao Shrine, and then they stole the shrine's treasure. They don't know when to stop. It's a treasure that has been kept at this shrine for many, many years. I'd like to ask you about the boat. The one at the pier over there. Oh. 
The snake's boat. The red snakes came here on that boat a while back. Did you see them? Yes, I did see them. And I saw them dragging two men along with them. I knew it. Mr. Yun was here. Did you see where they went? That way. I see. Hmm. And... Where are you going, Ryo? Please have a look at the shrine in the back. Huh. He turned towards a it's railing. Oh, maybe not. beautiful okay. shrine. People who visit often leave offerings with their names on them. Here comes the hard sell. The red snakes haven't managed to tear up the inside. Feel free to have a look. Peking used to be a name for Beijing. Oh, really? I did not know that. Is there another puzzle in here? Yes, there is. So, okay, probably need to know the secret combo or whatever to flip that thing around. This is... Oh my gosh. More backers, I guess? Jeez. Listen, there are dozens of us. Dozens! Of people who love Shenmue. Cake Eater. I like that. Bobco. Mm. Man. Giuseppe. The world over. Love Shenmue. Everyone does. Everyone loves it. Can't get enough of it. Want to buy a million copies of it. I do hope that at some point, like... I don't know how much it would actually take to produce a game like this. 10 million, maybe? Are you a backer? No, I wasn't. I, um... I stayed away from crowdfunding just to... I've keep, got to eat something. Keep myself, uh... What's the word? Neutral. Um, it's really late. I think I'll head back to the hotel. Back when I was doing more reporting on gaming news, I figured it probably wasn't a good idea to have financial ties in, really any, in any capacity to any game so that it's okay. angry nerds wouldn't have dirt on me if they decided I said something bad about their favorite anime girl. Ah, uh, okay. Thank Impartial. you. Yeah, thank you. Ling. Ling Shirling. I'm Dio. Dio Hazuki. It's nice to meet you, Shirling. When you decide to deal with those red snakes, Please let me know. Bobco was Robert Industries, uh, but they phoenixed you. Yeah. Rather not get you involved. Got some angel investors. <laughs> but I cannot forgive them for what they did. I want to give them a taste of their own medicine. Yeah, I know how you must feel. Anyway, see ya. Rio's basically Batman. He is. I'm glad you came to that conclusion because it's 100% accurate. All right, we'll do one last phone call and call it a stream there. Hey Shenhua. <laughs> Hi, Dio. Phil Phillips. I found Love that dude. Boat with a red Love that dude so much. Sonari Road Pier. A red snake. Oh God, Doctor Levin. You do oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Red snakes. Ugh. Brought you in here. That's pretty obvious innuendo. Yeah. Yes, Rio. Red snake. I Blah. had a Blah. feeling. <laughs> I paid the shrine a visit in case anyone had seen anything. And. And I nearly got attacked with a broom. What? The shrine maiden there mistook me for one of the red snakes and tried to chase me off. The maiden did that? How awful. She quickly realized her mistake, but it seems the red snakes attacked Liu Zhao shrine. How low will they go? <laughs> the shrine maiden was devastated too. I wish we could help them. Me too. That anyway, maiden. gets up like cash falls out of his pockets. Leo, I'm going to go back to the room. It's a stack of cash, uh, okay. eight whole apples, and 20 phone cards. Just tumble right out of his very slippery pockets.
Oh yeah, I was supposed to chase down the dude that didn't pay his bill, too. I completely forgot about that. That's fine. He's one of my commemorative phone cards. Uh... Goro being pretty tight. I could call... Should we call Nozomi or Goro? Tight bro, or a girl who... Basically threw her underwear at Ryo, who only, like, stared and... Stared to the horizon. Oh, yeah? Okay, Carmen, thank you. I'll take a look. Nozomi? Alright. Oh boy, this is gonna be... I don't think I can handle, like... I worked out today, I don't think I can handle how much clenching I'm going to do. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> You've nailed the sequence of events. Oh. Hello? Harasaki. Yes? It's me. Hazuki. Hazuki? Oh wow, she didn't yeah. sound like that in Shenmue 1 at all. Yeah, she's still in Canada, oh. I think. She was like a ghost in Shenmue Wasn't 1. expecting to hear from you. I see. Yeah. Is this a bad time? No, not at all. I'm thrilled to hear from you. She sounds better. She sounds more alive. Where are you now? Still in China? Yeah. You aren't getting into trouble, are you? Is everything okay? Yeah. There's nothing to worry about. Oh. I'm gonna pick the bad one. Uh, pumpkin bunt cake. Thanks for the resub. Yeah, three whole years. Wow. I have Shenhua with me. That's a big so pog. Nothing to worry about. Shen, what? A friend I made in Guay. I didn't mean that, Rio. Friend, huh? Grr. Yeah. It really helps having a local around. Yeah, I could see that. I finally made some friends. Oh yeah, with good. Having more fun at school. Twist that knife, Nozomi. That's good to hear. Yeah, but I can't really compare my situation to yours. Harasaki. Oh my God, that motorcycle your ride. Are much harder than mine. I doubt you're having much fun at all. I'll be fine. Harasaki. I don't know about that. I just chopped some wood. And I do find time to have fun now and then. I unhinged my jaw and really? swallowed four apples whole. Sure. I see unusual things and learn new techniques. All of that is fun for me. Oh, I'm relieved to hear that. He's actually kind of smiling. This right? Yeah, pretty much. We're like traveling buddies right now. I see. You must really get along well. I guess so. Is Shenhua a martial artist like you? No, not really. I see. I'd love to meet this Shenhua someday. Yeah, that'd be fun. I hope you get the chance to. Me too. I'd be curious to meet someone you get along with so well. Is Shenhua anything like Sakurada? What do you mean? Or maybe Shenhua is more like Goro from the harbor. <laughs> no, not exactly. Stunned is silence. Wrong, Hazuki? Shenhua is. She's what? Don't biff it. Actually. Oh. I see. Wow. Can you call me back later? Absolute sure. wow. I can do that. There is so much more I want to ask you. All right. Talk soon. Ah, what a tease. God, ugh. I feel so unfulfilled after every phone call. I mean, the Tom call was actually... Call quits for today. I take it back. Calling Tom was probably the most emotionally fulfilled I've been in my life. Uh... Yeah, and the phone calls, they try so hard to have an actual conversation with him. That's what I find so fascinating about this game, is like, Ryo doesn't suddenly become good at talking when he needs to talk. He's still just really bad and awkward, and that's just like... That's just part of his personality, I guess. Ah. Uh, yeah, Ryo can't come. Yeah, it's just, his balls are like... They're actually kind of grotesque. He literally can't come, either. Like, nocturnal missions, nothing. Normal, the normal things people have to take the pressure off, he just doesn't work. Uh, the boy's broken. This is how he's chosen to uh, to adapt. Oh, what a day, man! What a what a what a emotionally draining but still somehow entirely fulfilling day. <laughs> 
I'm still so happy I found that mushroom. I don't know why that matters so much to me. I just want to do good by my boy Ren. That's what I want to do. I want Ren to feel good. I want... I want uh, any woman in Ryo's life to stop seeing him as any kind of se sexual object. And uh, I want to chop some wood. So it's been a good day. It's been a good day in Shenmue. All right. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for tonight. I'll be back tomorrow. I think I got wit uh, witching on the... Oh, yeah. Tomorrow's first media share. Um, I'm going to figure out media share. I want to finally do that. So that'll start around noon Pacific. You guys can send me all your creepy internet videos and pay me to watch. That's, that's Twitch, baby. So I gotta set up. Uh, I gotta set up media share. So we'll do that for a couple hours tomorrow, and then back to Witcher, uh, so I can maybe get through that game at some point. Uh, gonna be in SoCal. Nice, nice. Gonna play a game during it. No, uh, media share. You just watch videos. So I'll be watching videos during that. Or, wait, no, you can do media share with gameplay, can't you? You just have to go over and like, huh? Not too much anime for the love of God. Well, hey, that's up to that's up to everyone. It's up to everyone. It's not up to me. It's up to everyone. So we'll see. Uh, how fast you ban gnome shares? I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure all this out. Like, if I get gnomed a million times in a row, that's gonna be lame as hell. Um, but I'll set it up. I'll get... It's gonna be a little rocky to start, but we'll figure it out. So, cool. Alright. Oh, Ray, I was at a grindy game? Okay. Maybe I can play Raid Shadow Legends. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. Uh, oh, Brooklyn, I think? I think I know the one you're talking about. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you guys tune in for it, and have a good night, everyone. See you later.